on the holes in my shoes. I stick my tongue in the holes in my teeth. I stick expletives in the holes in my thought process when I speak. My friends stick to their guns, they got a bunch in the woods of Vermont till the end times come. But Saturn says he's gonna learn to live as if the world gonna do my best to drink coffee in the morning and live as if I didn't feel lonely and hopeless and helpless to save myself for the world where I live and tonight when I dream it will be that the junkies spent all the drug money on community gardens and collective housing and the fuck kids who moved in the Potholes collecting garbage To prove we don't need governance To do these things And I'll wake up Burning Times Square as we sing Throw your hands in the air Property is robbery I never 
give it up to all my men this madness and all the luck to do what I got to.
tripped that a little sooner than I meant to, but uh, here we are. Oh. <coughs> oh. How are we doing? Fucking Mondays, right? Um, go to a welcome reprieve on the server and um, check what I just posted. Mild warning. There's penis in it. But nothing explicit. It's just dudes being dudes. Uh, you'll have you'll have a great time. It's a it's a quick and funny video. <sighs> These two points. Yep, dude. It's just, it's just guys being guys. It's just that's what that is. That's straight dudes right there. That's straight dudes. Oh God, I love straight guys. <clears throat> I think it's weird. I think I can appreciate straight guys more because I'm gay. <laughs> no, not by right. Um, like I get to love them, right? Like they, 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 they have a mixed relationship with themselves. I, I get to unabashedly love straight dudes. I adore them. Uh, <clears throat> oh, um, Ohio's teachers walked out before the school even started. Uh, Ohio's teachers are on strike. Um, <laughs> Crimson, good luck. I'm sure they'll teach you the perfectly accurate version of U.S. history for sure. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> thank you, Frackle. Uh, Let's see. <clears throat> Where should we start? Where should we start? Well, you know, let's start by tap dancing on the bitch's grave. For those of you who don't know what the... Um... <laughs> oh, Crimson. Uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm saying, actually. Um, <clears throat> Alexander Dugan... Uh... <laughs> Uh, by that, I take it you're not an Earthling. And if that's the case, do you have a, sh a spaceship? And if you have a spaceship, can you get me the fuck off of here? Um, no, Marcus. She was a cunt too. She was actively involved. Her name was listed in the um, oh Operation. I can't. It's like Russian or something. It's like Operation Lakata or some shit like that. Either way, yeah, one of the active disinformation and disruption campaigns run on the West. She was listed in the uh, the operation paperwork that was obtained uh, via the FSB. Hey, good on you, Caboose. Um, no, she was an act, she was a cunt, and she knew what her father was up to. She knew that he was profiting from Putin's regime. She knew that she was profiting from Putin's regime. Uh, she was perfectly ha happy living the life of a, a debutante as well on the on the pe uh, people's dime. No, she's a cunt. Fuck her. Um... <clears throat> And uh, for those of you who haven't seen the video, oh, God, it's an amazing video. Because um, <clears throat> whoever did what they did, now we'll get into that in a second. Whoever did what they did, this was not a pipe bomb. This was like, I wish there was video, like audio recording of the actual explosion, because I bet you would hear a, like a boom. It's a uh, high explosive. Uh, the debris field for the car is... Um, <clears throat> Vast. Uh, whoever blew, whoever wanted Dugan dead, <clears throat> whoever wanted Ale uh, Alexander dead, um, was uh, equipped with uh, gear. Yeah, it was. It was definitely a high explosive based on the debris field. Hey, Puka. Um, so yeah, it was a big explosion. Uh, <laughs> I would like to I would like to present my congratulations to the Nazbol space program. <laughs> um, bitch almost made it. Seriously. Um, but in the video, you can see him standing over her body, like literally going, ah. apparently he had a heart attack on scene too. Now, all I'm saying is if these motherfuckers managed to actually kill Alexander Dugan without blowing him up, that would be hilarious on a level that. I mean, is legitimately funny. Like, they, the last second he changes his plans, his daughter blows up instead, and he still drops dead. 
I'm just saying. That's funny. Now, <clears throat> as for, um, oh, I, the video's on the server. <laughs> video's on the server. <laughs> like, just, just, yeah, go to politics, scroll up until you see Russian Twitter post. There you go. There's the video. Um, as for who claimed <clears throat> responsibility. Yeah, I know. Right, Aspen? Um, the National Republican Army of, Ru uh, of Russia um, has claimed responsibility. The NRA has claimed responsibility for the attempted assassination of Alexander Dugan. The NRA is blowing up fascists, y'all. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, there's, um, there's that, um, now, in addition to that, in addition to that, <clears throat> Caleb Maupin has been basically deplatformed, Andrew Tate has been deplatformed. And the um, CPI, <clears throat> you know, that group that Has was speaking to and Maupin was speaking to, the CPI, they've been officially dissolved as well. Um, so as far as a weekend goes, Tankies had a really bad weekend. And that makes it a good weekend for us. The anarchist milieu can <sighs> take a lap. <clears throat> they can take a lap. Yeah, this is this is a good one. We can we can we can we can pop some party poppers over this one. Alexander Dugan had a heart attack and is now on notice, right? Um, Maupin and uh, Maupin and the CPI are gone too. <laughs> Oh, and has held like a memorial stream for fucking Dugan's daughter. I know she's got a name and I know her name. I don't care. <clears throat> I legitimately don't care. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, Walrus, uh, TikTok has officially announced that the uh, reposting of his content is a bannable offense as well. They will. TikTok has already stated that they'll be they'll be slowly purging his material, um, and it, the reposting of his material is also a TOS offense now. <clears throat> so, the memes of Sad Has are hilarious. Economy, yeah, fuck him. Um, <clears throat> the tears left by the tankies will probably need a good mop, and yes. Yeah, again, I don't know who you are. Let's see. I mean, Pakistan's a fucking shit show anyway. <clears throat> there, let's watch a video from Pakistan. Wait, I have one. <laughs> I have a video, <coughs> a recent video, just like over the weekend or some shit. Hold on. Yeah, Pakistan's a shit show. The whole thing's a fucking shit show. Here you go. This scene of World War Z brought to you by uh, Islamic belief in Pakistan. <clears throat> if you're wondering what's going on, by the way... <clears throat> The man in blue has it uh, has been accused of blasphemy, just by the group outside. Somebody started yelling blasphemer at him, so they started pulling a World War Z, climbing up to his fucking apartment, so they could do what you know they're going to do. Nah, it's one of those write-off countries. Sorry, Britain fucked him up too badly. Anywhere you uh, have a, uh, a border drawn by Britain, you're just going to have 
absolute batshittery. Just a worsening of sectarian violence, a worsening of oh, racial and ethnic tensions. It's almost always guaranteed. So, you know, mix in, mix in an Abrahamic religion on top of that. Well, you get people World War Z in their way up to people's apartments so they can drag them out and behead them in the streets because blasphemy. British border plus uh, Abrahamic religion equals people getting their heads chopped off usually. Yeah, again, if you link again, if you link me the same link a third a fourth time, I'm going to fucking time you out. <laughs> I got the video. I know you want to talk about Amir Khan. I don't. If I wanted to digress onto Amir Khan and your topic, I would have by the second or third time. Please stop telling me about this. <laughs> oh my God. I want to get on to Russia. That's where I was before... I was diverted into Pakistan. Fuck Pakistan. Sorry, fuck any place that's just taken over by Abrahamic religion. Including America, by the way. They get the Christian theocracy going. Fuck all that shit. You show me a region where evangelicals and fundamentalists have control and power, I'll show you a region that's absolutely fucked. Not difficult. Uh, not all culture is equal. So, in a thousand year, people a uh, thousand years, people are gonna get stoned because they think uh, Java is a practical language. <laughs> uh, ah, it's okay, Marcus. We'll get you your points back. <clears throat> into the distance all the way off into the distance it's if you don't know what we were actually looking at um <clears throat> that's a parade it's an exhibition right of uh destroyed russian armaments um i just took a, a it's an exhibition of destroyed Russian armaments um, in Kiev. They've they've strung them down the street, going for quite a wa quite a distance. <clears throat> it's what parades look like without the gays. I mean, kind of really historically speaking, at least. Um, yes, <sighs> they. Uh, <clears throat> uh, good luck to him. Um, so. In addition to that, the Russian fleet no longer controls the um, the arm. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the Russian fleet no longer controls the um, the waters off the coast of Ukraine. Like that's that's already done. Like they they they're no longer in control of the waters. Um, <clears throat> losing their capital ship probably. Um, <laughs> didn't help um but yeah losing their flagship as it were um so russia has lost control of the waters that they once controlled they're in the process of losing control of crimea crimea is already halfway back to ukraine at this point uh, given the amount of uh, bombings and storage depots and military bases and um, satellite facilities in Crimea that have been destroyed by uh, Ukrainian armed forces <clears throat> over just the last week. Crimea is well on its way back to uh, Russia as well. Um, Russia is attempting to hold fake elections now in the area. Um, saying that we're going to hold a people's referendum after they shipped out all the Ukrainians. You know, they, they, they've displaced like a million Ukrainians. There's, ki there's probably 100,000 kids missing at this point. 
Russia has like committed a genocide in the region again because it's again Russia. That's all they know how to do is commit genocide. Um, <clears throat> so, but um, they're attempting to hold fake elections in the region as like on, as fast as they can because they're losing ground as fast as they possibly can. As Marcus said, he's like the anti Catherine the Great. <laughs> he's just losing ground at this point. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, he, they've also been caught um, um, operating in Albania now. Um, the not the secret services. Um, there were Russians that were arrested near a weapons factory in Albania, and the Albanian forces, uh, federal uh, federal forces, during their interview of them, <clears throat> they admitted that they were there, um, instructed uh, as instructed by the Russian secret services. Yeah, the FSB put them there. So. Russia has been losing ground like a motherfucker. They've lost their flagship and a good portion of their um, navy in a land war um, with a nation with that doesn't really even have a navy to speak of. Um, <laughs> they're, um, they've run their demographics dry. Um, they are desperately... Yes, I, we'll get there. We'll get there. I already know. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> they've, I don't, you know what? <laughs> I'm be a little bitch about it. I don't care anymore. I'm moving on. I, 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 you know, is <laughs> you try and you try and maintain a narrative some days and. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Hmm. Something has changed. Something has changed. Something has changed. Not just you. Hmm. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things is doing its own thing. <clears throat> so. <laughs> you got glasses. That's it. Love a care. Good on you. So um, Alaska snow crabs are dis have disappeared. Not kidding. Like, not even, like, that's that's straight up. Um, there's a whole bunch of fucking theories, apparently, from they migrated. They migrated. Um, most people think that they're either predator fluctuation, they self-cannibalized, or they scuttled, they literally scuttled off the continental shelf. Um, they don't really know. Uh, alien abduction is actually mentioned in the article. No one's taking that seriously, but it is an adorable thing that people are joking about. They're like, yeah, they could have gone back home or they were abducted by aliens or something. Um, <clears throat> But um, no, um, generally speaking, uh, uh, the consensus on the matter is that um, climate change in some way, shape or form has precipitated a change within their ecosystem that either has driven them to death or um, moved them or had them predated on. Um, so it's it's it was already, as Crix is pointing out, a volatile uh, industry and activity to start with but then you you know you throw on any major um extra pressure or external pressures from the ecosystem and you know you can have population collapse very quickly like it's it's you know the the monitoring of it is usually done around harvesting season so you know there's a moment where they could just not be there What's up, Max? <clears throat> the to return to their depths to bide their time for their counter for a counterattack. Uh, maybe they're maybe they left because they're in a crabby mood. <laughs> uh, even the pinnacle of evolution can't survive the shitstorm we uh, we created we caused. Yeah, um, 
Yeah, it's dude, it's I mean, and a lot of the people who are the sort of like the backbone, the the fishermen, they are not um they're not usually like multinational corporations. They're like family businesses that operate large numbers cuz you it, it costs a lot. It costs millions to uh become an owner of a boat, right? Those are not cheap vessels. Those are not cheap vessels, and they're not cheap to operate. Um, so it takes millions, and it's usually done via bank loans and that sort of thing. Um, the groups that, you know, the families and groups that tend to operate vessels in the region are then, you know, uh, they sell to distributors, and the distributors then mass uh, mass sell, right? But the actual people who will take the first hit of this are just usually hardworking Alaskans. They're just blue collar fucking fishermen, fisher people, fishers. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, it, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be the first hit on that, uh, on that economic train. But yeah, um, Alaskan snow crabs have basically disappeared. It, I mean, it's, it's, it, it is legitimately a mystery. Um, Everybody watch out. There's a serial killer in your midst, or at least the progeny of a serial killer. So just keep an eye out. Um, but, yeah, no, it's it, – they would – at this point, nobody's sure. Uh, it's the uh, it's the largest uh, part of, portion of the uh, crabbing industry in Alaska is uh, snow crab, like – Imagine if, like, I don't know, you woke up and the cows were gone, right? Stone crab are uh, probably the most sustainable cr um, crab that we harvest. Um, they catch them down in the Caribbean oftentimes, you catch them off by the coast of Florida. So I know they go for, like, 200 bucks a pound or something these days. Um, <clears throat> they're not cheap. But they, um, they catch them and they pop off their left claw. I know it sounds horrible, but they're crabs and frankly, they're designed to come off. Um, they pop off their left claw when they're harvestable and they toss them back in the water. Um, and the claw regrows. It, they're, 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 they're fun. Like the, it really does like, it's a sustainable harvest. It sounds kind of fucked up when you say it, but it actually isn't that bad. All things, um, Like all things considered, how our various meat industries operate. Uh, oh, Jesus. Management quotas are based on numbers from 25 to 30 years ago. And I'm sure they're negotiated numbers too. They're not scientifically driven numbers. They're just something that they knew they could get away with sort of numbers. Oh, the shark thing is. We have a right to our crabs. Yes, you do. And you abused your right. And look what happened. Literally, they disappeared. Max. Max. The only reason that you people exist in the first place up there is because the exact same thing happened before. What do you think you're in? Like, unless you're indigenous, unless you're indigenous, how do you think everybody ended up in Alaska? Two different gold rushes. What you're talking about is a gold rush. The first one was gold. The second one was oil. The third one was weird media produced uh, crab fishing shows teaching. Uh, sorry. Sorry. You don't get to compl you don't get to complain about the very reason you're there in the first place. God damn it, people are doing exactly what my ancestors did.
to minute and a half. People forget. that <clears throat> who wants to see the uh drive-in car hops um at the Lo uh, log lodge tavern so uh, near the love field airport in dallas texas it's a picture from 1940 it's a picture from 1940 of the drive-in car hops uh who worked at the log lodge tavern in texas ready your expectations set Everybody expecting something in particular. Here you go. You didn't see that one coming, did you? You were expecting something else. <laughs> Cat, remember what they took from you. <clears throat> yeah. That's the lo uh, Log Lodge. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the uh, Log Lodge Tavern. Uh, outside Love Field Airport in Dallas, Texas in 1940. Those were the car hops. They wore short shorts and uh, cowboy boots. Well, I can't show that on air. <laughs> I can't show that on air. Dude, I have so many... I'm gonna have to do in VC, I suppose. Um, caboose, for once, not out front being uh, objectified. Get over it. Uh, I mean, Crimson, I'm sorry, but. Uh, uh, there's actually a lot of those photos, uh, cat. Like there's even, um, here, I can get you a few cause there's, there's actually a lot. And here's the crazy part. All right. You ready? Here's the crazy part. Here's, here's just, here's some in the South Pacific. All right. Here's some in the South Pacific, but this is where it gets interesting. There's actually a lot of instances of cross-dressing amongst the uh, Nazi ranks and not just like, not as like, this is my thing. I'm into it. I do it with my mistress. Like they do it for fun. They do it as a, a morale booster. They do it in large groups in settings like it, it 100%. They do it for shows they do it for like little uh like pantomime almost but not full panto right like it's it's actually a thing 
there was a lot of cross-dressing amongst uh, World War II soldiers on both sides. British have a history of it with pantomime. The Nazis have a history with it with performing as well. Like, it's, it's, it's actually pretty common. And as I showed, like, you, our soldiers in the South Pacific did it as well. Um, it's, there's a, there's a long storied history of, because women weren't allowed to perform in theater. Who do you think were performing the female parts, right? Like there's always been a history, uh, at this point of, uh, men cross-dressing for a variety of performative reasons. And it's seen largely as entertaining, as humorous, as it's a whole thing. So, like, yeah, it's 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 far from out of the ordinary. It's it's actually quite the norm prior to a certain year. Hey, Scylla, welcome back. Uh, I actually have uh, uh, on the homosexuality issue. Uh, Singapore is going to end their uh, ban on gay sex this year, and Vietnam has declared homosexuality not a disease. Um, so progress on that side of the ocean, um, where progress needed to be made. Um, That's it. That's what I was after. Um, this one. I knew I had one related to that. Yeah. This literally happens in manga. I don't know about Shinji being trans, but my man is bi as shit, uh, as shit, right? Here's two dudes kissing. I don't know anything context about this. Look, I don't care. Also, weebs, shut up. I don't give a shit about it. Fucking, I remember a similar scene in the third movie as well. I personally don't think it means he's gay or attracted to men, but depending on circumstances, things like this can happen. So what? I've known a lot of straight dudes in my life. <clears throat> they don't generally just find themselves making out with another dude. Yeah, it's 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 not a it's not a not a thing usually. It's it's just things like this just happen. No, no, they don't actually. It's not actually a thing. Straight dudes get up to usually. Yeah. Yeah. Occasionally you trip, you fall, you land on him, you make out, you end up riding his dick. It's all part of tripping and falling on someone. It happens. It's common. Jesus Christ, people fucking cope like a motherfucker. Uh, yeah, Scylla, you probably should. <laughs> if, you if you consider yourself a heterosexual and you're regularly uh, making out with people of the same sex, you probably aren't that heterosexual. No. That's, that's generally not a thing. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Duffy, that makes it so much worse. Is Closet Coping a subreddit? It needs to be. I don't think it is. I've never heard of it. Nope, not a subreddit. Yeah, I don't care. There's no... Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck off. Homosexuality is a Western invention and can't be accurately transposed onto Japanese media. It's a type of friendship known as whatever. It doesn't make him gay in the Western sense. Yes. Yes, it does. And apparently, according to my weebs... All right, beast. Weeb out. Okay. No.
Um, if your joke has to be run through a translator, it's a shit joke. See? How many people it was lost on? Shit joke. Just being honest. Garbage joke. Yeah, if you got to run, if you, you're like, you'll understand if you run it through Google Translate. No. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the opposite of how a joke's supposed to operate, man. It, by the way, apparently it translates to gay tongue fucking. I think the first one is safe. Let me just look. Rituals of ancient gay Shunga erotica. Prolific in Japan during the Edo period, with Nanshoku referred, referring to the depiction of homosexual erotica. So what I'm oh Jesus. So what I'm hearing here is they're like super fucking gay. And unlike the Greeks, it seems they were into anal. Interesting. Ugh. Clean up. Clean up. Ancient Japanese anal sex. Ugh. Anything prior to they have oh god, they didn't, did they? They don't they wouldn't have had tubing. How would they have accomplished that? Could you? Hmm. How would you get a? Uh, how would you get a proper clean out going? I suppose metal. You could do metal. That would work. Ugh. Yeah. Gotta have a proper clean out. I'm sorry. <laughs> who's out? Who's out here fucking running their anal game? Just fucking straight up. Ugh. I suppose you could sand it. Yeah, bamboo. You could sand it. Ugh. Either way, imagine catching a splinter. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, rubber is... <laughs> there's a reason rubber is the, <laughs> the go-to on this. Plastic. Um... Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Y'all want to, um, let's see. Y'all want to hate on someone? <laughs> use a hardwood and polish it a lot before you're going to use it. Uh... Ooh, animal hide. That is an option. That is an option, I suppose. Yeah, you can get a thin animal hide. You could really work it down. All right. You want to hate on someone? You see, this is this is the thing. A lot of you fucking queers. This is going to get it lost on entirely. Uh, at least a couple of you will get this, though. And understand why you should be angry. <laughs> Yeah, Kavas, when, com when compared to, like, rubber, which has no splinters, <laughs> few splinters is not comfortable. That's, 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 when we're talking about anal splinters, few is still probably too many. See? It's like three. They get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah nonsense of course they did of course they did um this dude has weekend dad vibes written all over him like i can't believe they fucking they i i can't believe he fucking wrangled his kid into this this is this is that's the that's the part that you should really hate this guy for is he's like putting this in his fucking kid's head yeah yeah teaching the kid to be fucking pro rape yeah he's got weekend dad vibes all over him straight up 
So, uh, yeah, we're talking about an NFL player who raped like a bunch of people, bunch of people, like 12 or some shit like that. Um, <laughs> that boom, I did not. Caleb Maupin uh, pays to get spanked. He can't. He can't get someone to spank him for free, dude. I could have somebody here within the hour. I'm not kidding you. That's easy. Are you kidding me? I mean, I don't know what Maupin looks like though. Why is he paying people to spank him? Yeah, two dozen plus women. There you go. Oh, I mean, there'd probably be, he's a douchebag of a motherfucker. Like, okay, so he can't pull. Like, he can't pull. But I bet there's people who would happily fucking spank him for free. Uh, he is extremely red. That he is. Um, <laughs> hey, Deirdre. Um, yeah, CPI imploded over the weekend. Straight dude probs paying femdoms. I bet Caleb Maupin could get an anarchist, leftist, fucking sex worker to do it for free. Be like, hey, I'm Caleb Maupin, and I want you to beat me like the dirty boy I am. They'd be like, wait, how much? Like, how many times do you want me to hit you? Oh, like a whole session. Can I have an hour? I'll be over in three minutes. Fucking. <laughs> like... Yeah, I actually do want details. His former comrade. Jesus Christ. So it's his ex, ex supposed friends narking on him. Lovely. Jesus Christ. All right. So there we go. <laughs> oh wait, I've seen this. I've seen. I've seen this. I've seen this. 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 Yes, I've seen excerpts from this. Yeah. No. 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 I've seen clips from this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah, he's, he's into the, the corporal punishment stuff. Dude, you wait, I have tools, I'll bring two. <laughs> has been, I'd do it for free, gladly. Boom, by the way, he's, uh, he says he's a Christian, I'm sure he thinks he is. Uh, I'll bring the return. Oh man, yeah, I a hundred percent like, yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a couple of things that I'd be like, you know, I've never properly opened up on someone with, because they're painful, <laughs> right? Like, it'd be nice to fucking just whack. What's up? <laughs> just read him quotes to read him his own quotes. Oh, that'd be great. Fucking read him his own quotes. Yeah, Papa, we did. Um, and fucking schwack. Da -da -da -da. Schwack. Fucking just kick the shit out of him the entire time while reading him his own stupid shit. Uh, no, he's just an eight. He's peaky. He's just an agent for Russia. That's all. Um, yeah, super gay, Papa John. Super gay. It was fun. Um, yeah, there. Uh, in December 2021, Caleb asked me to replace his former dominatrix, Miss Lucy. I agreed to do so for 250 per session because I did need the money, and it felt like if I said no, it'd be even more isolated from the rest of CPI than I already was as a result of my relapse. Uh, yeah, dude, if, if Caleb Maupin paid me $250 to arrange his dominatrix sessions, whatever. Fuck, you just turn around and donate the money to fucking Food Not Bombs and laugh your ass off. Fuck. I'd try to get a hold of some photos, too, if I were me. If it were me, I know what I'd do. I'd fucking cut a deal with the dominatrix. I'd be like, can we surreptitiously videotape some of this? Oh, yeah. I would have fucking raked him over it. It's, dude, this is, he does harm. He does active harm. I have no problem with that. My ethical framework allows for that. Like it's, he is actively harming people and this world. And, you know, quite frankly, the, <laughs> the level of discourse and discussion within the milieu. So fuck him. <laughs> Deirdre. Yeah. hundred percent would. I'd have fucking, I'd have been rid of Caleb Maupin in an instant. Like homie, you think I wouldn't blackmail Caleb Maupin? Of course I would. 
for sure. No problem. Doesn't even have to be for financial gain. Just you need to have a sudden change of heart, my friend. Yeah. Or else. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's just the way that works. It's illegal. <laughs> sure. Sure. Oh, let's see. Can't show that video. Can't show that video. Can't show that video. Oh, hey, uh, do you guys want to see uh, which states where it's perfectly legal for a landlord to evict a tenant be for being gay or transgendered? Here you go. These are the shit states. These are the states you should not be in. These are the states that you should never even do business with. Fuck these states. These states are garbage. Also, you know, add a few more. Kansas, though, getting kind of based, all things considered. So. Yeah, nonsense. After the vote to keep abortion in and then the recount that now costs the uh, those assholes uh, $120,000 to do the recount for Kansas. Um, eh, good on you, Caboose. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, these, these are just garbage states. Fuck all of these places. <laughs> Could carve them out and push them further in the ocean. Uh, yeah, nonsense. Two to one. Y'all voted it in. Two to one. Good on you guys. Yeah. Yeah, the recount was hilarious. $120,000. They're left holding the bill. If you order that recount and it doesn't, uh, if it isn't a valid recount, 120, uh, you're, you're on the hook for all of the administrative costs. So yeah, the, the fucking conspiracy theorist fucking, uh, election denier that uh, demanded the recount is, and the team that they were $120,000 bill for coming from the state of Kansas to them for that recount. <sighs> No nonsense. Oh, let's see. Oh, did y'all hear um, Steven Seagal? Uh, okay, so Fred Durst is also a Russia simp. The Limp Biscuit asshole. Who, who would have guessed the douche from uh, Limp Biscuit? But yeah, no. He um, sent a letter apparently to Russia uh, with, in, with an interest in obtaining a passport. And uh, he wanted to spend a half a year in Crimea. He, he literally wrote a letter um, that stating that Vladimir Putin was a quote, a great guy with clear moral principles and a nice person. Um, yeah. The, the fucking limp biscuit asshole is a fucking Putin stan in the same way that Durst is. Uh, is it the same way that uh, Seagal is? Like, it's just one of those weird things. It's just what. God damn it. It's just one of those weird things that you're like, yeah, our timeline is fucking strange. I mean, he kind of does have clear moral principles. Deirdre. I mean, they're, they're pretty clear. Um, <laughs> and does it all for the Putin so you can take this cookie and shove it up your yeah there. Oh, oh God. Um, this this is such a like a minor and I say that with just all Limp Biscuit is from seven years ago. Hey Duffy, you're old as fuck. Limp Biscuit is from like twenty years ago. You're old as fuck, my man. Yeah. It's even further than that, frankly. Cause I would have been in high school. Yeah, you're you dude seven years ago. Try try two decades. Oh, you mean the story? Yeah, no, I don't care about that. It was about fucking. Hey, did you know that Limp, the, the fucking Limp Biscuit is a fucking Putin stand too? Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> um, peace, Jesus. Yeah, that's not the point of the story. 
Um, either way, so this is such a minor story that nobody, you probably didn't even hear about it because it's not going to be a thing. Um, fucking an Italian 15 year old was killed over the week, uh, or last week, uh, riding a bike, uh, on the road. Now that's not really much of a story, right? It's tragic, but you know, somebody hit a 15 year old on a bike in Italy. Well, the story is who killed her. It killed, uh, killed her. Him? No, it's him. Um, killed him. A 20 year old um, US soldier out driving from the base. She lost control reportedly of her vehicle going around uh, a roundabout. Ar around a roundabout. 20-year-old sol uh, soldier of ours was clearly driving like a fucking maniac, lost control of their vehicle in a roundabout, and ran down a 15-year-old and launching him from his bike. I mean, by all accounts, the there were witnesses launched him from his bike. He died quickly. Um, <clears throat> he was, uh, by reports, he was thrown 10 meters 10 meters. She hit him pretty hard. So this is like far, far from the first time that this has happened. She's already been whisked away. There's, there's no holding a sol a U.S. soldier accountable for that sort of activity. It, it, we, 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 during military operations, during Air Force operations, we caused the uh, our Air Force caused the collapse of a tram line or a like uh, not a funicular, um, but like a, a, a ski lift in Italy before as well, um, being completely negligent and killed a bunch of people and nothing was ever done there's there's multiple instances of u.s diplomats u.s soldiers um causing these sorts of problems around the world she's already been whisked off there's there's no the italian government has no recourse really for getting a hold of that soldier so she's long gone um and yeah Hey, AJ. Um, now, I will say, in her defense, the lights were out. Apparently, the township implemented energy saving policies and they turn off the street lights, leaving it completely dark. So, while there's probably a level of negligence, for sure, on her part, the streets were literally dark because they turn off the street lights. So something to consider. I don't know. I, I, I know about like, like I get, I get trying to save energy. And all of that, but maybe, maybe not street lights. Maybe not street lights. Maybe, maybe cut elsewhere. Street lights are one of those things. Which, by the way, as Americans, you're super used to. You go elsewhere in the world, there are no street lights. <laughs> Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, fucking idiot.
Uh, can they just do what the US did and replace a bunch of them with LEDs? I mean, right? Uh, it wasn't, um, she was, um, I want to say, I, hold on, before I say this, I want to, he was a diplomat. Yeah, that's, that's, he was a diplomat. Yeah, she was, a, yeah, she was an, she's, it was the ambassador. It, it yeah. Yeah, I wanted to double check that. So everybody see Eric Trump posted uh, Mar-a-Lago's fucking Wi-Fi password? One one two two three three four four five five. Well, it's Eric Trump. Eric is barely, barely qualified as a human being. Like he's he's like a few DNA strands away from being an actual higher primate at this point. He's fucking Eric Trump is. Jesus Christ. I'm Eric. Hey, maniac. Yeah. So, of course he posted a picture of fuck. Of course he did. Of course he did. It's Eric we're talking about here. It's Eric. Did you uh, see the Republican candidate f uh, in Sarasota? Um, U.S. Uh, no, no, no. Hyde. Um, what's this guy? Martin Hyde. Martin Hyde. Um, running for Congress against uh, Representative Vern Buchanan. Um, here's the quote. When speaking on um, the FBI search of President, uh, former President Donald Trump's property, he stated, <clears throat> I wish they'd turn up at my home because they'd have gone home in a body bag. End quote. That's the second Republican candidate that has openly called uh, for the deaths of federal agents. <laughs> For anybody keeping track, just just since the raid, just since the raid, it's happened before plenty of times. Um, but yeah, just since the raid, that's the second one. The party of law and order, ladies and gentlemen. Are you making fun of someone? Hold on. Do I have pearls I can clutch at? Okay, here you go. I actually do. Hold on. I have some pearls here I can clutch at while I do this. Hold on. Are you making fun of someone for not being possibly for possibly not being as smart as you? Yes. Yes, Eric Eric Trump is fucking stupid as shit and I'm making fun of him for it. Yeah. Yeah. He had the opportunity to have the best education in the world and he's fucking dumb as sticks. He posted a photo of a fucking secure network on a compound that was that had actual fucking government secret documents in it. His opsec is garbage. He's a fucking idiot. His family is filled with idiots. And um yeah. Yeah, he's a he's a waste of resource. What if he possibly has an undiagnosed mental disability? Would that change things? No, because he comes from a billionaire's family, right? Why is his Why is his mental disability undiagnosed? They have access to the best healthcare in the world. Why is it undiagnosed? Why is he being neglected? Hmm. Sounds like the activity of a pretty stupid family.
Oh, you have no idea because I've grown up with them. Oh, Pookie. You don't know me. You don't know the stories I've told on this channel. You don't know my history. Yeah. This fact of the matter is, is I know a lot of these people. So what happens when you uh, <clears throat> grow up in certain circles. Marcus, also in chat, knows these types of people. Fuck. He's dined with, uh, with fucking, um, well, probably Rockefellers too. But yeah, definitely Carnegie's. I know that story. They actively want you dead. They want you dead. Are you are you are you rich, Yelra? Are you rich? And by rich I mean properly rich. They want you dead, you know that, right? They don't like you. You're garbage to them. You're you're nothing more than a what I've often heard is useless eater. That's that's been one I've heard repeated multiple times. Yeah. No, they don't. I've rarely been so insulted. No Rockefellers, just Carnegie's and Kennedy's. Fair enough. Yeah, Kai, you never met those rich people. Why should we care? Yeah, I know, right? Literally the power centers of our world. The ones who make and, sh make and shake the, the systems. These are the most important people within the system. There. They're the reason that we can't have universal health care. So why should I care? Why should I care? You're right. You're right. So what you've actually revealed yourself to be is a, not, uh, a unfeeling, non-sympathetic, non-empathetic, borderline psychopath and sociopath. Because if you can't see the harm that the wealthy cause in this world and why should we, we should be concerned with it, and not only concerned with it, but outright righteously angry, then I don't know why you're not a functioning human being, but you're not. So, yeah. Fuck them and fuck you too then, I suppose. Because you're in the way too. And if you're going to get in the way, well... History tells those stories. I made eye contact with Donald Trump. He's driven by my favorite bar in a limo. It's the closest I've been to these freaks. It was gross before I even hated him too. Dude's just trash. No, he is. Donald Trump's always been trash. <sighs> the rich need the masses to throw themselves into providing for them. Otherwise, they have to actually do stuff. All right, husband. I've been dinner with many of these. Not very impressed as Bobby. Yeah, I had dinner with Carl and governors, etc. Yeah, and if you Swede, Swede dines with billionaires regularly. Regularly. When he was here in Vegas, fucking, he was hanging out with four billionaires before he even came up, to, like, hang out, hung out with me. Like, moments before Swede and I were hanging out, he was hanging out with billionaires, like, four of them. Right, like Swede has exposure to insane levels of wealth on a regular basis, and he never has anything good to say about them whatsoever. They're always dumb. They're always uninformed. They're always ignorant of basic economics, basic politics. They do not understand the most fundamental civics, edu uh, civics education. They're garbage human beings. And we have people who pretend to fucking... M morally pearl clutch because people are annoyed by the fact that these fucking golden leeches on the asses of society exist even in the first place that they shouldn't be burned off like the ticks they are could you imagine the comedy bears that would be trump in the kitchen he's hobbled by that wealth swede do they tip no of course they don't You don't, this, this is what money does to your brain right here. You see this shit, right? 
They, he thinks he's defending himself. He, he actively thinks this is a defense. This is what money does to your brain. I'm telling you, it fucking absolutely, absolutely breaks your fucking brain. You can always see. You can always see it. They have the most insane takes. It's 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 absurd. And they they don't hear it themselves. They don't hear it themselves. My stepfather was exact is exactly the same way. He does he cannot hear it. It's 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 you've got a poison in your brain and you can't see it. It's it's absolutely insane. I, I, the shit that has fallen out of that man's mouth over the years that you're just like, what? Well, you know, I didn't want a vacation in Florida with the family. And so, you know, I, I, I had to make a choice. And so I chose to stay and, you know, ski with the Austrian Olympic team, uh, you know, in New England. And I mean, you know, sure, it was it was rough. I mean, I, I, of course, the, the family left me, um, you know, a minor staff. But, I mean, I actually had to go down to the kitchen occasionally and prepare myself a snack. I'm not joking. This isn't hyperbole. This is shit that falls out of these fucking people's mouths. This is an actual story that my fucking stepfather has told me where he thinks he's fucking being humble. But, in fact, he's talking about having staff. Money at an early age breaks your fucking brain. It just does. It's like being exposed to methamphetamine in the womb. It, it just, it does things. And it's almost like a disability. It, it, it is a disability, very really. It, it actually is. Um, but, it's just absurd to deal with. Do you see? You see this, right? You see this, right? Uh, no, non-binary. No, number him. They say shit, and they don't see it. They don't see it that just they, they don't there's no no level of awareness there's no level of awareness once you have a certain amount of money they just become fucking oblivious to reality and it is hilarious to talk to them as evidenced right Kropotkin. What's your fucking name? Yelra. Kropotkin was an infamous anarchist and a Russian prince, far higher in, uh, in nobility and uh, social status and tiering than you could ever achieve. He was an actual Russian prince and became an anarchist and said, oh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. That's fucked. Okay. Far more wealthy people than you have realized that occasionally you got to make a fucking sandwich for yourself. Oh, I'm sure your construction company was started from scratch and you have no assistance from being from a well-to-do family. None. Even if it's not financial. Have you changed your name? Have you hidden your identity? Have you separated and cut all ties from your family? No. No. Of course you didn't. Sure you do. Sure you do. Because you were just defending doing the opposite. Your first instinct is to defend the opposite. Then when you got shit canned for it, you're like, well, actually, I, I value hard work. Mm -hmm. Initially, you didn't. Initially, you valued paying someone to do your labor for you.
Uh. We got some Arbit Mach Fry going on, do we? Ah, uh, hey, dig. Oh, <laughs> dig. <laughs> Contribute to the conversation or shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's what that was about. If you're wondering why you just got timed out, it's because you have actually just been putting nonsense into fucking chat the entire fucking time you've been here not contributing anything worth reading. And I got tired of reading your bullshit. So that's why you just got timed out. If you were wondering why. So, yeah, yeah. Literally just fucking making animal noises in chat. Oh, no, I'm not talking about Yelra. I'm talking about this other idiot. Fucking, I mean, as stupid as Yelra is, is sheltered and fucking ignorant. I mean, that is what it is. But, like, but, yeah, no, I was just tired of dealing with that fucking whatever announce yourselves bullshit. Just literally saying nothing worth t worth fucking reading over and over and over and over. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Unban and then just ban. There's literally not a single fucking comment in chat from you that is worth my time. So there we go. Just banned out, right? You're not coming back. Announce yourselves. Just, yeah, you're banned. Fucking not even worth my time. <sighs> I just, as I was scrolling back, looking at everything they, they wrote, I'm like, there isn't a single fucking thing in here that was worth the, the 15 seconds it took to read the, all of the messages in totality. So. <sighs> um. We literally saw a guy riffle, ruffle through all the cash in his wallet to tip $6 to a waiter who had been serving him all night in the suite at the Texans game. Says, uh, says Cass. Yeah, 100%. Rich people are the worst people. They are. They really are. And I, I mean rich, not wealthy. I mean rich. Rich people are the worst. Because they're cheap. They're super fucking cheap. They're super fucking cheap. Uh, they're they're constantly worried about not going broke. They don't want to go back to not being rich. So they're super fucking miserly. Rich people are the worst. They really are. If you work closely with a billionaire, don't worry, you'll be fine. If you work closely for a billionaire, if you're like their assistant or something, you'll be fine. Trust me. They'll just give you a car and shit like that. Like you're like, I need a car. And they'll be like, I'll get them a car. It, it, they have no concept of wealth. The the rich people, on the other hand, the nouveau riche, they're garbage human beings. They're super concerned with losing their money, and they're super concerned with showing off their money. So they spend it on lavish things, but not on the things you should spend on. So, yeah, fuck, fuck rich people worse than billionaires, even. The billionaires fuck up our system on a systemic level, but if you deal with them interpersonally, they're usually not that terrible to deal with. The, um, the rich people, on the other hand, garbage to deal with. They don't want to be treated the same way they treat their workers, of course. Unless you're Elon Musk. Ah, uh, yeah, he's just a garbage human being. He's just a garbage human being. Nobody likes working for him, and we have, like I said, we have firsthand people. Like, go talk to CMYK Ninja. He worked with him firsthand for years. He hates him. He hates him with a fucking passion. He, and he's far from the only one. He's far from the only one. So, fuck him. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, look. A oh, good. A fucking uh, dark money. $1.6 billion. Uh, to the uh, nonprofit Marble Freedom Trust. I wonder who gave it to. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's see. What's the Marble Freedom Trust again, by the way? 
Oh, oh, it's a, a it's a it's a dark money pa- super pack that was created by the uh, co chair uh, co chairperson of the Federalist Society. Oh, interesting. And they just got a windfall of one point six billion dollars. Where did that come from? Oh, it came from the sale of the uh, trip light company and uh, the guy who uh, fucking profited from that. Reed. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I'm sure that'll be great for for the health of our society. For sure. That'll be wonderful. Oh, yeah. More Federalist Society garbage. Seriously. See? Rich people are garbage. Um, let's see. Oh, we should mention him. David K. Um, David K. The uh, David K. was the um, the weapons inspector who helped disprove Iraqi WMDs. Um, he died. Just to, you know, it's worth shouting out the man. <sighs> I'm sorry. Did he just say Wyoming is one of the richest states? Okay. Sure, sure. You're a capitalist pig. Fuck you. I don't. Yeah. You. So do your. Uh, you set up a workers cooperative so your. Uh, so your workers can share in the uh, directly share in the profits of their labor, right? For sure. For sure. You're not profiting and extracting the excess labor value from your workers, are you? All right? All things equal within the company? Morally and ethically sound? Oh, that's right. No, you don't you didn't do that, did you? You're a fucking capitalist pig. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> like apparently you 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 have failed to understand the the modus operandi of this channel and the group here. We're anarchists. Fuck you. <laughs> like, Jesus. The workers get an equal share vote, right? In all decisions. Mm-hmm. You're, you're totally allowing them to uh, empower themselves, right? Because you, you understand how, how fucked up this Western society is and you want to empower your workers, right? You want to... You want to separate yourself out for sure. For sure you're doing that, right? Right? You you plur, uh, you, uh, you pearl clutching little bitch. Come on. <laughs> you're fucking you're shitting on a society that you yourself build. Come on. Come on. And now admitting no idea what milk costs. Now admitting no idea what milk costs. See, this is this is this is what I'm talking about. You can you can read a fucking rich person. You can just read them. Gemma. I said it when she decided to fuck with them the last time better be prepared you're poking at a group she, she is poking at a group that will literally get three percenters active gang members who run meth for cartels right they will actively coordinate with them to target you okay she is fucking with some this isn't just online trolls she is fucking with actual shit that will murder you she better have been fucking ready. Know what you're, if you're going to war, know who you're going to war with. And you know what? 
I'm on her side. I want her to come out on top on this one, but holy shit, is she unprepared. Fucking step into Kiwi Farms is actually taking your life into, into your own hands, and you need to fucking know that when you do it. Gemma, this is, this is, this is what it is at this point. Yeah. They're going to fucking murder her. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're going to fucking murder her. And it's not going to be only their fault, unfortunately. Like, you can't poke a crazy dude. Crazy dude in the room saying, I'm going to stab the next motherfucker that looks at me. And you walk up and start poking him in the fucking chest. I mean, Jesus, you didn't deserve to get stabbed, but like, what'd you think was going to happen when you walked up and poked the dude in the chest who said he was going to stab somebody? I, I, there's a, there's a certain point where you just have to be like, would you, would you think was going to happen? Like, you <laughs> These fuckers have bomb threaded, three percentered, fucking stalked, fucking, I mean. Then Gemma, she takes her fuck, she takes her future into her own hands and I wash my hands of it. It's that simple. If you go to war with people who literally will kill you and you aren't prepared for the fallout, I have nothing to say to you. She's on her own. What'd she think was going to happen? Like, at a certain point, you have to just be like, holy shit, man. These chips are going to, these chips are going to fall where they may. I hope she's okay on the other side of it. I really do. But she chose this path. She'd already been doxxed again. Her new or safe location is already known. Yeah. Like, she's not... Like, there's no... She was walking along, and she bumped her head into a wasp's nest. She didn't see the wasp's nest. She just bumped her head into the wasp's nest. And she started getting stung by wasps. And then, so, what she did, instead of running off, she turned around and started hitting the wasp's nest. Instead of getting as far away from the wasps as you can. Oh, Jesus Christ. The rich person's complaining about laziness and complacency of society at this point. This is, this is literally like peak cringe at this point. The rich guy's complaining about laziness, everyone. Yes, Gord, of course. Of course. That's nothing. That's literally nothing. Yeah, non binary. She's on her own. Why is working hard uh, uh why is working hard matters? Oh, I'm already retired, man. <laughs> Just the thing. You you have no idea who you're who you're speaking to. You have no idea who you're talking to whatsoever. I love the amount you this is this is hilariously one-sided. The the lack of knowledge, the the ignorance you've walked into. Uh Uh, 
Oh, yeah. You don't work harder than Marcus. For sure. For sure. Even if you... Do. I know, right? Like, don't work hard. You die at the end anyway. Didn't anybody tell you that, stupid? Like, what is wrong with people? Why is... What, what, are you a Calvinist? What's with the work ethic? Like... I, I don't understand. Now uh, supporting a culture of violence. So let's see. We've got ignorance, violence, unnecessary hard labor, uh, uh, unequal distribution of wealth and resources. What what else can this what else can this genius stand today for us? Papa, I've seen more self-awareness from a spoon. Yeah, you're getting hate for working, liking working hard. Yeah, yeah, you actually are. Yeah, yeah. Um. There you go. Chapter one, the abolition of work. You have it, ideologically, like your education, you're, you're completely uneducated on anything we're going to talk about. You're going to say stuff and you'll be like, what? Yeah. Yeah. We're actually opposed to work. You can't even conceptualize this. You can't conceptualize a non-hierarchical, non-work modality. Oh, the family owns a few. I'm sure, Gemma. Him, not so much. Hey, there it is. And there's the lack of education that is so prominent in people who come from rich families is because they feel that they can coast. So they don't ever actually learn a level. Of, they're not scientifically literate. They can't read a research paper. I reject climate change. We still get feet of snow in the summer in the mountains. So anyway. So are we done with this person? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shadow ban them. We're just gonna send them off. Anyway. Um I'm a farmer. We're in a drought, says heavy steel. Yeah, no, I, I've Yeah. They're still talking, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh. All I hear is the sound of the breeze is made a fatal meltdown. I know, right? It's fucking hilarious. And they, they keep talking, but they never notice that they can't see themselves on screen. It's like, you know, they, they, they I love the, the level of like technological ignorance that comes with these types of people as well, because they keep talking usually, but they can't see themselves on screen or in chat and they just keep talking and they wonder, they wonder what's going on apparently because they're too stupid to realize. But given the uh, lack of self, uh, you know, self-reflection, uh, <laughs> not surprised. So anyway, just another example <laughs> One of many of why, um, you know, if you're not prepared, if you're not educated, if you're not actually schooled on the matter of having money in your life, spiritually, philosophically, then it will corrupt you to the point where you believe in sort of these Calvinistic tenets and you believe that causing your workers to suffer and extracting their excess labor is somehow not only ethically justified, but a moral good that you believe that you're contributing to society, that this is, this is a po net positive for society. This is how delusional and idiotic money makes people. If you're not well, prepared for it. What we got going on in Australia? Um, that's not, um, oh, okay. There we go. Open the goddamn file. What 
what the f- This is- I'm sorry, what is it with fucking Arab cultures in this shit? Jesus, goddamn Christ. Hey Yelra, I'll let you out of I'll let you out of the shadow room, Yelra, if you come on air. If you come on air and talk to me, I'll let you out of the shadow room. Anything outside of that? Well, you're probably just gonna catch a ban. Oh, yeah, 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 Caboose, they can see you. You just can't see them. Yeah, you can yell at them all you want. So. Yeah, Heavy Steel. Look, you're never going to get some fucking dummy, uh, dummy company owner who comes from a rich family who literal silver spoon. Nah. Climate change isn't real because I have snow. You can't, you can't, you can't reason with that level of stupid. You can't put it on display for people to laugh at though. Yeah. Yelra, 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 age four, mainframe terminal, age 14, custom programming, $200 an hour, age 25, independent consultancy in Las Vegas, servicing all of the uh, back-end services for the strip. One of my customers had triple daily flights from all over the globe, South America, Europe, and Asia, to, uh, to resupply every day. Right, one man shop, no workers, my own. Controlled and used my own labor in a way that I saw as the most ethical application of it. Okay, I managed to get in and out. You're a fucking idiot. So, it is what it is. And now with that, you're truly silenced. No, no, Caboose. He's, um, uh, yeah, Peaky, that's exactly what I did is I burned out hard. Hmm. Oh, he claims to have limited time, but he, of course, has infinite time because, well, he coasts on the labor of his workers. He doesn't actually do anything. That's the thing. People like that never actually do anything. They think they're super busy, but they never actually are. Hmm, Marcus, I didn't know that either. Oh, Marcus, did you ever, did you find out um, so many fu uh, pointless fucking meetings? Yep. Um, Marcus, did you ever find out, um, ever, did you, did you happen to find your Pacer password? I suppose is what I'm asking you, Marcus. Yeah, because that Trump shit is weird as fuck. Elon Musk worth 90 hours of the week. Sure he does. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're, they're babysat for sure. Yeah, rich people don't actually like, I work hard. My three assistants and, you know, yeah. Um. Uh, <sighs> yeah, Casa Bonita is a real place. That one I know. I swear. It never, it never ceases to amaze. Every time I, I come into contact 
with a rich person. It just, yeah. Either way, um, Caboose, um, I actually had an article um, that I thought you'd be interested in um, because we were just talking about this over the weekend. Um, I'll drop the link in chat. Um, autistic people demonstrate speech rhythms that are different to um, different to uh, neurotypical people, and those differences are consistent across languages. So it's not a linguistic uh, it's not a linguistic hang up of English and autistic speech. It is lit it's seemingly that there are metricable differences in the speech patterns of people who are on spectrum across the board. Um, it's let's see, hang on. It's atypical speech. Pr uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it's atypical speech prosody. Um, so prosody is um, a linguistic term. It's um, non phonetic, uh, non phonetic individual segments. Um, so yeah, it's um, <sighs> imitation, rhythm, and stress. God, my linguistics. Yeah, imitation, stress, and rhythm. Inotation, rhythm, and stress. Yes, uh, inotation, rhythm, and stress are uh, prosody. These are these are the sort of non uh, phonetic, so d p f, sort of the non phonetic elements of speech, and so the intonation, rhythm, and stress change from normal speech. Well, what we'll call normal uh, speech in neurotypical people, right? The their their intonation, their rhythm, and their stressing um, changes. So as you were like alluding to that, like sort of the monotone nature definitely could be an element within. Um, but yeah, it's, um, do I have a native English speakers, Cantonese speakers? Um, okay. So yeah, it was Hong Kong, Cantonese, uh, and U S English, um, English 55 were autistic, 39 were neurotypical. Cantonese 28 were autistic, 24 were neurotypical. Um, all par participants were asked to narrate a story of a wordless picture book. Their speech was then recorded, transcribed, and divided into ind individual utterances for examination. The researchers then used a computer program to extract the speech rhythm and intonation information from the narrative examples. The rhythms uh, uh, refer to various uh, variations in timing and loudness, intonation, variations in pitch. Uh, I almost said of course, but that's not of course. Um, the researchers then used uh, machine language, uh, uh, machine learning, um, and to try and classify autistic participants versus participants with typical development. And the findings revealed that the speech rhythm could reliably classify autistic uh, participants versus neurotypical participants, both in English and Cantonese samples. Speech intonation could only classify autistic participants versus neurotypical uh, participants in the English sample. So, yeah, um, rhythm works across language. Intonation works in English. Um, when they analyzed a combined data set of English and Cantonese speakers, only speech rhythm reliably classified autistic individuals from neurotypicals. So there you go. Your, your, your speech rhythm apparently belies your autism. However, that's supposed to work. Give me a name. That's exactly wrong. That's literally wrong. Um, yeah, prosody works outside uh, Fino. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wouldn't. It's the it, prosody works outside phenome information. The phonetic information um, that's contained within language is independent of prosody information. That's that's literally those are two different things. It's it's what you say versus how you say it. You know, interesting, interesting, interesting. The ph the phonemes are exactly the same in all three of those utterances. No IPA coding information changes. Interesting. 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 All 
IPA coded the exact same way. Those are all f the exact same phonemes. But the prosody information that contained within that linguistic set is different. No, I think uh, I think neurotypicality is the um, next evolution. Beast. I, I think I think the autistic set is the default. Yeah. Literally marching to the beat of your own drum. Yeah, literally. Uh, uh good to know, Marcus. Duly noted. <laughs> what you're saying is I'm primitive. Um God, you have a beautiful mind. I'm here for it. Um, does Twitch chat have an equalizing effect? I mean, yeah. Uh, written written text, unless coded otherwise, doesn't contain the prosody information. Now, you can code langu written language for, to contain the prosody information, but the typical um, coding does not contain that. Right? Like, if I type, well, let's do this this way, right? Uh, if, I, if I type interesting, right? That gives me some coding information. Interesting. Duly noted. Uh, I just got. I just forwarded that article to my sister. She's in graduate school for speech pathology. She says thanks for the article. Good, glad. Hope she. Hope she enjoys it. Um. Yeah. So you can. You, ah. Yeah. Ah. Like you can code it, but like b default uh, written language doesn't code for it. Why would I use? Read the screen, boom. You can do it. Read the screen. Um, who would use the DuckDuckGo browser? It's garbage. Um, let's see. Let's see. Y'all want to see? Have um, y'all want to see? Um, y'all want to see a picture of Sarah Palin? This was this was this was recent. I mean, this was recent. For those those were around for Sarah Sarah Palin. Where I'll show you what we remember. This is what we remember. This is Sarah Palin. This is this is you're you're like yeah, I remember Sarah Palin, right? Nope, not joking. This is Sarah Palin, 2022. My <laughs> divorce must have been rough. <laughs> she got a lot of work done, and you can tell, and it's not good work. A moose looks hotter than her. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
That's not work. That's a mistake. Nope. Kai is right. That's a recent pick of Sarah Palin. Google Images has confirmed it. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> Thank you, though. Uh, yeah. No, that's that's a 2022 photo of Sarah Palin. Dude, she, she went fucking whole hog on that face, and it is rough. It is rough. Um... Let's see. Oh, India. God damn it. We're just going to do a, a drive-by headline here, basically. Sexual assault accuser wore provocative clothing, Indian judge rules. Uh, and if you're, you're wondering, here's the actual fucking court document. If you want to fucking read it, it's fully sourced. Uh, she wore sexual, sexually provocative dresses. So her, her first impression could not stand. Meaning her testimony was considered invalid because she wore a provocative dress once. Mm -hmm. Oh, India is a fucking nightmare country for women. It's a nightmare country. Dude, they, they, they gang rape. They gang rape. 200 men at a time, they gang rape. They gang rape. Like, it's, it's, it's the entire village gang rape. Like, it's, dude, India got a problem. India's got a fucking problem. Like, it's, it's, yeah, do not. I'm going to go to trial naked. Uh, dig, you would be beaten to death. I'm not kidding you. You'd be beaten to death. You'd be dead. It's, I'm not fucking around here. Like, you'd be dead. Yeah. You wouldn't fuck with them. You'd be yeah, you'd be, or raped to death, yeah, beast, like, you'd be dead, like, that's, you're not fucking with them in that instance, <laughs> yeah, this is a place that has very real issues, uh, I remember the, it's your fault video, women made, uh, some woman made some years ago, yeah, it's, dude, India's got a fucking problem, um, oh, bullshit, non-binary, there's places, Fucking, that's that's almost Christian levels of persecution there. India, Asia's America. Nah. That's not even close. That's not even close, Marcus. More like more like Asia's fucking Pakistan. <laughs> also in Asia. Um Asia's other Asia's other. Oh, yeah. Muslim woman raped by Hindu mob, shocked by release of 11 male gen. Uh, uh, male, uh, 11 jailed men. Yeah, of course. Of course. And here's a video of them burying some woman alive. Lovely. Uh, make your extended family feel even vaguely slighted in some areas of India, and you can find yourself doused in, uh, doused in accelerant and set alight. Honor killings. Pretty fucked up, even though that's the extreme rather than the norm. <sighs> it's uncomfortably norm, Gemma. Like, we need to get out of that. It's like, oh, it's not all of them. Yeah, that's kind of the argument of, like, cops, right? Like, I feel like, I feel like we can't make that argument, like, ethically, as anarchists like it's just like if the cops are if all cops are bastards well there's some degree of shared responsibility in this especially when you start to see the numbers you know mm. um see the cops arresting that atf agent i want to use that oh i think i did actually yeah yeah uh, they were released despite being found guilty for murder of three-year-old daughter and some other relatives. Multiple murder and rape there. Yeah, that feels about right. Should we use racism to combat gang rape? <sighs> it's, dude. I, India's got a problem. They do. Like, there's, they really, really do. Like, culturally, it's it's an issue. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. It's not fucking like roses and fucking fields of lilies over here. But like, 
you don't see many headlines in Western Europe and, and America about, you know, 50 men gang raping a woman to death. Right. You don't see many headlines about, you know, fucking 11 men who were found guilty for raping and murdering a three year old were released. Like just just walked like you don't you don't like all things being equal. It's not as bad. It isn't. Like you. You can you can fucking put those fuckers down over here at least. Like, you could stand your ground on them. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Indian gang ran fake police station out of a hotel for eight months. Oh, Marcus. Philadelphians joy in killing spotted lanternflies. Another sign of how just how much we hate outsiders. Unless they're rich college uh, students who were drunk. I mean, if she put him down, she probably could have fucking gotten away with it. See, that's the thing. A lot of those instances, Cass, I think if she if the girls fucking put the dudes in the ground. I bet I bet the outcome would be better. I bet the outcome would be better. I bet the outcome would be better. Yeah. If those dudes weren't alive to fucking play the future fucking... Yeah. Like, if it was, he raped me, and I fucking put him in the ground. It'd be pretty clear cut. It'd be cut and dry. I I, I legitimately think those cases would turn out better. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same way. Because once, if he's still alive, then they get to run the PR campaign. They get to do the fucking clean him up and fucking, oh, he's got a bright future ahead of him routine. If he doesn't have a future, then you don't get to do the bright, bright future ahead of him routine. Right? Like, I legitimately think if a lot of those instances, <clears throat> Stanford, um, yeah. Yeah, if the, if the girls, if the women, if they straight up just... Self defense. <laughs> the you move the E. A T H E I S T. Um Rape uh, that Stanford. You mean you mean you mean the rapist, Brock? I believe Alexander Turner, uh, the 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 noted Stanford swimmer rapist Brock Turner. That 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 rapist Brock Turner. Oh, good to know. He's apparently frequenting bars a lot. <sighs> hmm. Oh God! Yeah, what bars? God, beast, you're right. What bars? That's that's the creepy part, right? Like, is it college bars? Cause he's he's already aged out. Like that's that's super creepy at that point. If I owned a bar, that motherfucker would never be allowed to step foot in one. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. Brock Turner, the fucking band on site. Uh, Swede, I have a question for you. It's not on air. We already had a a rich douchebag in here, Swede, claiming that climate change doesn't exist because he has snow. So this doesn't, this doesn't surprise me at all. I blame like his handlers, right? Like his wife, his kids. I don't know. Of course, Herschel Walker's kid is a garbage person too. Um, I 
Uh, oh, this goes over here. <laughs> like, why am I? <laughs> why are you? This isn't, I'm not, I'm not a, we're not autocorrect for you. Just get a dictionary. Just use Google or something. You clearly have the internet. <laughs> um, yeah, sweet. That's I think it's like abuse, right? Like it's 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 abuse. <laughs> Fucking read a dictionary, man. Um, yeah, I, I I think it's abuse. you guys know about um Mehmet Oz good old Dr. Oz Mehmet 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 um do you know about Dr. Oz's latest gaffe that Fetterman is um fundraising off of he made like a half a million off of this one gaff. It, it it is it is fucking hilarious. Okay, so Doctor Oz has already claimed he only owns two homes. He owns he owns ten homes, but uh, ten properties, by the way, including a student dorm in Turkey. Um, no, no, not the Uncle Fester. Um, Mehmet. <laughs> yes, Marcus. Yes. Yes, you mean Wegner's, Marcus? You mean Wegner's? You mean Wegner's, right, Marcus? Wegner's? It's Wegner's, right? Wegner's. Wegner's is the store. Okay, so for those... <laughs> okay, so for those of you who don't know, Dr. Oz is claiming to live in Pennsylvania. He's, he's, he's not. He's, he does, he's not from Pennsylvania. He's claiming he lives in Pennsylvania, and the Pennsylvanians are fucking annoyed at that alone. Philly, Philly, like Marcus already said, Philly, Philadelphians hate outsiders to start with. They're intensely isolationist, even though they're a city. It's weird as fuck, but trust me, Philadelphians are like, who the fuck are you? Get the fuck out. Um, so... Dr. Oz is already pretending to be one of them. Like, how, how do you do, fellow Philadelphians, right? It's, it's fucking ridiculous. So he, when trying to uh, seem like an everyman who knows about what's going on in the world, he was complaining about inflation because I was just, I was shopping for salsa the other day at Wegner's and I was salsa, I was so shopping for salsa for my broccoli and asparagus crudite. Okay. So a couple of things. One, Wegner's is not a store. That's not a place. It's an amalgamation possibly of two different grocery store chains right? Uh, <laughs> Wegmans, <laughs> right? Weg uh, Wegmans is the, the store, but Wegner's is the store that he, uh, he, 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 yeah. And the tequila. And he was shopping for salsa for his asparagus and broccoli crudite. Okay. So one, who's eating vegetable platters with salsa? Like who, who is that? Who's, who's dipping asparagus into crudite, right? That's, that's right out of the gate, right out of the gate, right? That's already, you're like, what? And then two, not a real store, not a real dish, not a thing people eat and complaining about inflation alongside it. Like he's an every man. So, um, Fetterman owning him over and over, uh, raised $500,000 in the first 24 hours after this gaffe by Thursday afternoon, the amount had doubled. And at that point, the campaign decided to print up and send out limited edition stickers to all of their donors that read quote, Wegner's let them eat crudite.
the chuckle fucks here in central PA hate Oz. Good. Good. Fucking, I, I, (laughs) how out of touch are you? Like, who, a broccoli and asparagus crudite, one, who eats raw asparagus? Who eats raw asparagus? Who eats raw asparagus? That's not a thing. Nobody's putting asparagus on their crudite platter. That's, that's absurd. Two, fucking, yeah, like, who's shopping for salsa for their crudite platter? That's not, nobody, nobody's doing that. And three, you didn't even get the goddamn store name right. The irony is Wegmans is super upmarket and expensive, while Redner's is a co-op that basically American Aldi. Here's an article of the video. I'm good. Uh, yeah, Fetterman knows how to play the game. Fetterman knows how to play the game, and it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Steel. It's a platter. Beast, it's, it's a vegetable platter. A uh, party platter of vegetables, beast. You see, like, from the deli, that's a cru- that's crudite. Crudite is a vegetable platter. Gemma linked it for you guys. Um, here. That, that's a crudite. Oh, God, white asparagus. Jesus Christ. Who the f- Marcus, 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 I think we're surrounded by the pores, man. Uh, (laughs) Um, No, no, I haven't seen Sam Harris's new look. Uh, If you want me to see, I'm not going, I'm not searching. So if you want me to see it, please provide. Uh, what's up, Pookie? How you doing, Pookie? We have a Puka and a Pookie. I'm going to call you Pookie now. Pookie isn't a word. Well, you used it. Marcus, stop it. I'm trying to seem, I'm trying so hard to seem normal. It's fancy carrots and celery for you Hooters fucks. <laughs> Uh, you Hooters fucks. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, here you want to see some? It's just absolutely. Come on, there we go. Dr. Oz thinks the Hooters waitress actually like him. (laughs) Hey. So we're just going to watch just a few. This is China cleaning up all of the buildings that they pissed all over the place. of fucking buildings that they don't need. Cupcake, not if you do it correctly. 
Yeah, again, there's nobody in that city. Y'all are y'all are thinking like, oh, you, no, there's nobody there. If there's nobody there, who gives a shit? Right? Just knock them over. Fucking deal with it later. Yeah. Dig. Have you not been here? Yeah, no. China has entire cities empty. Yeah. Yeah, just cities. M multiple. Like a dozen cities. Like, seriously. Just empty cities. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, there's hundreds of those buildings. Just not nobody. They're just empty. Um, they, they built them because their economy required it. Let's just put it that way. Crimson. There's nobody wants them even for cheap. They're garbage. Yeah, also a pretty big demographic change. This is a result of decades of one-child policy, aging and failing poles, uh, populations. I don't know what you're talking about, uh, Gemma. They're in China's doing fine. Good night, name. Literally the first paragraph. Name. In linguistics, prosody is concerned with elements of speech that are not individual phonetic segments, vowels, and consonants, but are properties of syllables and larger units of speech, including the linguistic functions such as intonation, stress, and rhythm. Such elements are known as Super segmentals. <sighs> anyway, I look forward to what weirdness gets posted there. Um, Trump will probably buy him knowing the question. <laughs> Trump, Hannity, there's a few. There's a few. There's a few that would. For sure. Um, did y'all see the Louisiana cops? Uh, over the, over the fucking, they actually got, uh, I mean, of course, if it was anybody else, they would have fucking been arrested on the, on site. Let's see if I have that video, um, probably would have been, let's see. Oh God. All right. There we go. Got it. Oh, sorry, not uh, not Louisiana, Arkansas, Arkansas. Sorry, Arkansas. Oh yeah, the new Delhi, the the Delhi slums are fucking absurd. Um, sorry, Arkansas. It's so so difficult to keep track of you know these sorts of incidents. We'll talk about it on popos. Now nah, we're not doing popos bizarre right now, but this is worth just looking at. Wait for it. There. It's my favorite part. Look what he does to this guy's head. He's literally holding onto his head and doing this with it. Oh, oh, shit. We just got seen. We just got seen. Camera, camera.
apparently somebody needs Good Burger. Apparently, somebody needs Good Burger. Ah. Hey, what's that goo? Ah, oh, it's my sauce. I make it myself. Huh. You carry your own sauce? Doesn't everybody? Hey, hey, would you watch it? Sorry. Hey, well, this is kind of good. You sure you made this by yourself? Yeah, it's my very own recipe. And nobody knows about this, right? No. Hey, Vic, come here. Jesus, how badly could they cue this up? No burger right off the m no burger. Hey, this is really good. What'd you guys put on this? Didi! Otis! Monique, come here! Mom, I gotta call you back. sauce on all the good burgers and everyone will want to eat here. We'll knock Mondo Burger right off the map. Lee! Yes. No, that's yeah. great! True. And get in that kitchen and start making sauce! Gibby, Gibby! It shall be done! This fucking is so poorly queued up as a clip. It's so poorly queued up. Fuck them. Fuck them. I've stopped caring. I'm a dude. You're a dude. We're all dudes. There. Fuck it, A. Whoever clipped that fucking video for YouTube, garbage. Hold on. I'm actually curious. I want to fucking know, like, whose account do I hate? Um... You, you, God, you know, mm, all right, I'm going to get down that rabbit hole. Um, okay, so we did the password, we did that, I can't revel in that too much, God, I wish I could show that video on, on stream, <laughs> can't show that video, um, oh, there's a few, there's a few, um, I wonder if I can show this. Yeah, I think I can show this. He's walking. Oh, for fuck's sake, yes. Oh my god, how many fucking times? I'm gonna lose my fucking mind here. Homeboy decided to try and steal copper from a live fucking source. And literally got blown the fuck up. Yeah, he's surprisingly okay for what he just... Because you see him, he tried to pull it from a transformer station. You see that, right? Like, in the beginning of the video, the guy fucking swings the video over. That's a fucking relay station. He's, yeah, we we'll call that fucker too dumb to die. Yeah. 
No. Yeah, he uh, he was too dumb to fucking die. <laughs> like, yeah, he tried to pull uh, he tried to pull copper from a uh, from a train uh, from a relay station. Looks like, looks like Team Rocket <laughs> blasting off again. Oh, just why is the Twitter fucking... The Twitter media player is the most garbage media player. And I say that as a Redditor. Like our media, but the Reddit media player is like not good, right? Not good at all. But the fucking, the Twitter media player has to be the most garbage. Like it, it's legitimately the most garbage media player in existence. Jesus Christ. Shock and awe. It doesn't matter. Nine versus 50. It's shock and awe. This is that classic military strategy. They have no idea what's going on. They just woke them up. Yeah. This is an easy win. This is an easy win. You got them in the middle of the night. You got this level of discordance going on. You fuckers really don't read chat, huh? <laughs> France. It was the French action Nazi paramilitary group training in an encampment with more than 50 people and nine anti-fascists went in and roused them, rousted them out. <laughs> That's what Dig was asking me about in chat. About did you see the video where the nine anti-fascists kicked out the fifty Nazis? And the this is this is yeah. Um, welcome back, Aspen. I the flares are uh, uh, you know it's it's an effective strategy. Let's just put it that way. Um, it's an effective strategy. <laughs> um, I'm putting a link in chat. Um, if anybody knows any Norwegians, um, you know, <clears throat> give it a watch. Give it a watch. <laughs> I can't show it on air. Can't show it on air, um, but <laughs> give it a watch. Uh, I know you fuckers. Boom. They don't even know what's going on. Honestly, like you, you, you underestimate the tactic that was just used. Waking somebody up in the middle of the night while they're in encampment, right? Like they're not sleeping. With, it, they're already they're already not uh, not in a normal state of mind, right? They're they're relocated. They're sleeping out in the wilderness. They've been working and what they've been working out all day. They've tired themselves out. They're not sleeping well, and all of a sudden, shock and all comes in. People are yelling and screaming, and things are on fire, and people are kicking you as you wake up, and your tents are being ripped off of you. You have no idea what's going on. It discombobulates your processes so much. That, yeah, nine guys can take out 50 plus, no problem. If they were just being hyper violent, they'd all be dead. If this were like old school action, like Spanish 
Italian, Chilean, Argentinian anarchists. That'd just be a camp full of dead Nazis. That's what that would have been. They wouldn't have stood a chance. Like that's they did that's waking somebody up like that is a very real military strategy. <sighs> it's in um reprieve. Cupcake. Dig put it there. That's where um <laughs> French have some pretty good food. Um some of it, yeah. Uh, I wish we had this guy on un- blurred. Y'all see the uh, French tourist who go- who? I'm um, sorry, French. Y'all see the Russian tourist who gave up um, the location of an S four hundred air defense system. <clears throat> uh, Russian tourist was. Um, sunbathing shall we say and uh, decided to pose with a piece of military hardware that the Russians had in place an S-400 air defense system and uploaded this photo with EXIF data intact the geolocation of this photo was 45.180317 so you know, you know what happened next. Couldn't quite tell where where yelling was coming from. I was like, is that in my house? Is it outside my house? Couldn't tell. Uh, Let's see. Oh, yeah. Do you guys see Florida can't have um, dictionaries? Florida schools can't have dictionaries now. They they're they're getting rejected because of the DeSantis bill. Not kidding. Like Florida is having to reject dictionaries um, because it can't <clears throat> it can't get through the review review process. <laughs> it's, it's they they yeah. If I fuck <laughs> Texas is have um Texas is having to pull uh, Bibles. Texas schools had to pull Bibles. Yeah, Florida's pulling uh, Florida's pulling dictionaries and Texas is pulling fucking Bibles. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh <clears throat> Oh, Gemma is a Russian old Russian proverb that basically goes when you strike bedrock and you hear voices beneath you. Welcome to America. Finally, those fuckers are violent. <clears throat> I wonder how dumb a population can make itself before it totally implodes. Uh, Deirdre, they would have imploded already if it weren't for the rest of the U.S. It's that simple. If the U.S. weren't here, if our architecture wasn't here to, like, if our organizational architecture wasn't here to support Mississippi and Alabama and Arkansas and fucking Kentucky and South Carolina and West Virginia and fucking Louisiana, are you kidding me? These states would have collapsed already. 
It's only because they receive federal funds. It's only because they have the benefit of having our technology and infrastructure. It, dude, without the, the rest of the U.S., most of these states would just automatically collapse already. They're far too stupid and dysfunctional to be a functional location. Yeah. It's the biggest black pill. Blue states subsidize the red states bullshit. They do. They do. Yeah. Um, OG welfare queens. What else? Yeah. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ, that was a fucking story and a half. When did this happen? This is the craziest fucking story. Uh, July of 2020. Um, let me get you a picture, cause always goes best with a picture. Everyone, meet Karina. Karina Smith. Karina Smith. Um. <clears throat> Corinna was 59 years of age when she found that found out that her husband, um, well, her husband had been sexually assaulting uh, her daughter and her brother since they were children. Um, so she did what any rational, reasonable person would do. And she poured boiling sugar on him in his sleep until he died. Not kidding. Siblings. Siblings. Yeah. Yeah, she poured boiling sugar on him in his sleep until he was no more. Yes, cat. Yes. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Three, if you're wondering how much, three bags of sugar worth. And the and the, the water to get them started. Yeah, three bags worth of sugar. <clears throat> she made candy. Yeah, steal. Yeah, like five pound domino bags. Yes. <laughs> she apparently managed to get sugar onto 36% of his body. So just over a third of his body, the top third, was covered in sugar. Yeah, 36% of his body was covered by sugar, according to the hospital documents. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, suffocating on magma sugar sounds like it'd be up there as the worst ways to go. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Cropo. Sugar burns are extremely painful. Like, it, it's, yeah. Like, this is, yeah. Like, this is up there. This is up there. Like, I, you know, <laughs> I've gotten the bottom half too, says Deirdre. <laughs> Two pans simultaneously. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's she yeah. It was yeah. They got him to the hospital. They got him to the hospital but he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> according according to the filings, um this in spite of the best efforts of medical personnel. <laughs> That's that was that was yeah, in spite of the best efforts of medical personnel. 
<laughs> they got him to the hospital. He was still apparently the heart was still beating when they got when they brought him in. But homeboy didn't stand a chance. <laughs> uh, bet you no one fucks with her kids ever again. <laughs> Her kids are grown. Her kids are grown now. Apparently, yeah, they t they told her like the the kids finally fessed up. Like the kids finally told her, and she was devastated that she didn't see, that she didn't notice. She caboose. She didn't. She just threw it on him. She fucking just threw a giant fucking pot of boiling sugar on him while he slept. Just imagine like a a soup pot, like a a fucking stock pot worth of sugar just yeah yeah she she apparently was broken up yeah she she yeah she snapped yeah she snapped <laughs> both metal and delicious uh <laughs> yeah the people in pompeii went super quick he suffered he felt it yeah he felt it oh yeah he felt it and the whole way out the whole way out it was it was pure hell on earth pure hell on earth for at least a couple hours apparently he survived so yeah yeah, he 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 felt it. He was aware of it. Apparently, they dropped him into a chemically induced coma pretty quick, though. I have steel. Um, I've had multiple, quite frankly, bad burns in my life. Yeah. Uh, my mother snapped when she found out and had all those same thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, good old Corinna Smith here. She um, she um. She had those thoughts as well. Only <laughs> she followed through. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, that's it's not a way you want to go out. Sleep. Sleep is number one. That's the winner. If you go out in your sleep, you win. You win at life. The only way to win at life, as far as I'm concerned, the only way to win at life is to just go to sleep and just not wake up. You're like, yeah, I'm just going to bed, sleep. You know, you go to sleep and you just die somewhere in your sleep, right? That's, those people win, right? Um, outside of that, you're looking at like opioid overdose territory. You just, respiratory depression, you know? Um, but like, yeah, th this is not the way to go. Um, no, she is not. We're not letting her walk Aspen. It was you, it was the UK First off, it was the UK. It wasn't us because if she did this in Texas, they'd have let her walk for sure, for sure. Um, fucking, but no, she got life in prison with a minimum of twelve years. Um, she was found guilty at trial. Um, so yeah. Um, Yeah. So 12 years less the 166 days spent in remanding custody, 96 days credit for time spent on qualifying curfew. So basically 11 years. So minimum of minimum of eleven. Uh, <laughs> everyone put money on her account. <laughs> oh, oh, um, Ron Johnson for you don't know fucking. Uh, he's the Republican from Wisconsin. Um, he's been floating the idea that the GOP should impose a nationwide abortion ban. So, you know. Republicans may consider a nationwide ban on abortion if the party wins control of Congress in the upcoming midterm elections. <clears throat> a 
for twos. What happened? To, should be left to the states. Oh, I'll tell you for twos what happened. Uh, the states started voting on it, and it turned out that the majority of Americans aren't Christian fascists. Uh, Beast, I do believe it is actually. Yeah, as evidenced by Kansas, because when Kansas put it up for a vote, two to one vote, two to one, not, nope, we're not doing that. Two to one, even Kansas, it's like, nope, right? They start putting it to the vote in the states and all of a sudden, that's why West Virginia's governor isn't letting West Virginia vote on it. I'm not kidding you. West Virginia's governor is not letting West Virginians vote on whether they, uh, they uh, on the status of abortion in their state because explicitly because of what happened in Kansas. So what happened to states' rights? Yeah, fuck that. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, and the, the recount cost them $120,000. They're, they're stuck with the bill. Oh, fuck off. All right. Kansas abortion vote recount confirms original result, leaving an election denier and a GOP activist with 120,000 bills. Yep, they're now liable for the the recount cost. Got to ask the real questions. How many abortions is too many for the individual? None. I don't care if you have a thousand abortions. I don't care. Poopsenders.com. Cool. Yeah, there's no number on that. There's no upper limit. Oh, you can buy different kinds of poop, too. Good to know. Yeah. I don't... It's a clump of cells. I don't care. You, it's like asking me how many times, what's the upper limit on like how many zits somebody could pop on themselves? I don't know. How many zits are you going to get in a lifetime? I don't care. Pop them. It's just a clump of cells. It's a fucking parasitic clump of cells up until a point. I don't give a shit. Fuck. Fuck them. Um, let's see. I talked about the Ohio teachers. Good on them. Um, based Ohio teachers. There's based the Ohio teachers before school even started. One day before, they're like, uh, we strike. <laughs> so good on them. Walrus. That's for the person and their doctor to decide, not you. That's for a medical professional to decide. You don't get to be a part of that conversation ever, ever get that through your fucking head. That's before, between people and their medical professionals. You don't get to have a conversation about that. Well, are they taking, are they taking too much insulin? Are they, they shouldn't be taking too much insulin. We should have laws in place to, to dictate how much a person can buy after all. Fucking dummy idea. We got a creep trying to insert themselves in other people's bedrooms in various places. Cat. <clears throat> Barristers in England and Wales are all on strike, as well as all the bin collectors in Scotland. <clears throat> strike at the major port in the UK for the time, first time in 30 years. Nice. Yeah, I saw the. I put some photos up of the bin, uh, the bin strike. USA has a big problem, epidemic even with insulin addicts. We got to jack the prices up.
Oh, yeah, no, we talked about this extensively, Marcus. Uh, Rabbit was here, and we even, yeah, we even went into... God, the Finnish PM. Did you see she even submitted to a fucking drug test? Jesus Christ, that Finnish PM shit pisses me off. Dude, she should she should demand all of Parliament now take drug tests and make them public, just like she just had to. Fuck those bunch of self-righteous old fucking white cunts. Jesus Christ. Fucking absolutely. Bunch of fuck, more people fucking trying to dictate people's lives and bodies. Uh, I feel like all these uh, stupid politicians are going to ban all hormone medications. And supply a prescription for everything found. Yep. 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 Fucking absolutely. People, people need to learn to mind their own fucking business. People need to fucking mind their own business. How many abortions have you had? Do you use any drugs? How do you choose to live your life? Do you have sex with somebody I don't approve of? Fuck off. Fuck these people. I swear to God. <laughs> if I don't get my estrogen, I'm going full anarch. No lies, says Max. I feel you on the other side of that. Yeah. Yeah, Beast. Dance rebellion currently occurring in Finland. Oh. Oh, you estrogen fuckers. Easy to get that one. <laughs> do you do you drink caffeine? Smoke cigarettes? Eat red meat or sugar? <laughs> Frantically scribbling and <clears throat> how many times up the butt? Oh, God, you just reminded me of my PA for my doctor, fucking for my ID. She fucking, oh, I hate that woman. Oh, I hate that woman. Now, have you been, have you been, been have you been having any receiving, uh, have you been receiving, on the receiving end of any, uh, any sex recently? No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Well, are you sure? Because if you haven't, if you have, then I have to, she pulls out a fucking, uh, the, the, the swab. I have to give this to you. You have to put it up your bum bum. I swear to God, this is a medical professional saying bum bum to me. It's like, it's an anal swab, bitch. Just say it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I hate that shit. <sighs> <laughs> Puka, I do all those things. God, I hate that bitch. I, honestly, I I almost did flip a table. I almost did. Yeah, I I almost lost it. It's like you are fucking shitting me. I feel like those dumb fuckers go as far as banning thyroid hormone medications. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They would. They would. Jesus, dig. Fair enough, though. <laughs> it's fair. Um, however, you, however much you hated her saying "bum bum" is Tom Greenish. Um, put it in my bum. Put it in my bum. Uh yeah. What's Tom up to? Good luck, Gemma. They won't ban hormones. Think of old ball guys taking TRT. Max. Do you realize how difficult it is to get uh, fucking testosterone in this country? Compared to estri estrogen, I can buy off a fucking website. I'm not kidding you. Like, I can I can source estrogen easier than I could probably source some of my food stuffs because those are rare. Estrogen's easy to get a hold of. Testosterone, on the other hand, is fucking ridiculous to get a hold of because it's a scheduled drug. Ugh, this fucking country. Yeah, I have far more sympathy for uh, female to male trans people. Because <laughs> as someone who takes TRT, fucking, yeah. Dude, testosterone's not easy to fucking get. I mean, you know, I'm good at sourcing things. <clears throat> Don't think this is, you know, but <laughs> good. Um... Well, Doc, can you put it in my bum bum? 
past two years or so, he toured the van, uh, toured the U.S. with a van and his dog. All right, he's a cowboy now. Rock on. Um, good for him. <laughs> Gotta stop these females and males before they start dominating all our male athletes. Yeah, they have to be strictly within the norm. Fucking mm -hmm. all these all these goddamn that's the problem with the trans agenda. See, that's the problem. It's a fucking all those female to male trans people out there fucking taking up all the good testosterone for us god fearing fucking limp dick men. <laughs> Oh, fucking A. <clears throat> oh, hard right turn. Super tired. Does uh, the trans agenda. Uh, does anyone know about the Busey sex accusers? Dude, I saw that. Somebody posted it. That, like Gary Busey's been accused by like a bunch of people. Um, dug in with Dugan. The podcast for the good rush. <laughs> uh Fucking Gary Busey. I mean, he's weird, but I, you know, I never got predator vibes off him, but I mean, Jesus Christ. <sighs> God fearing, dip spitting, ass cracking patriot. Uh, sexual offense charges stemming from incidents at the annual convention Monster Mania in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Horror film convention. Two counts of criminal sexual conduct, one count of criminal attempt, criminal sexual contact, and one, one count of harassment. Yeah, so, yep, yeah, not immediately returning comments. Yeah, more weird than Predator. Yeah. He's like a crack up maniac. I even some pause. I mean, Karina, I try not to Okay, you want to you want to know what it is? You actually want to know why I didn't I didn't because he was fucking he had a head head injury. I don't want to automatically assume that the dude who had a fucked up head injury and like had an uh, aneurysm as a result of it because he's got a mental disability, he's now a sexual predator. Because Gary Busey wasn't always weird. You know that, right? Like, this is probably actually a result of the head injury. Like, this is this is why this is uncomfortable. It's because we got to have a conversation about people with head injuries being fucking sex assault, uh, sexual offenders. Yeah, like, before... Yeah, like, before the, the motorcycle accident, he was normal. Gary Busey used to be, like, he was, he was a normal dude. Like, it happened to TJ Miller, too. Yeah, dude, fuck, fucking... Had a thing and then, yeah. So here's the conversation, really. If somebody around you has a, uh, has a traumatic head injury, keep an eye on them. They might sexually assault you. Is that the conversation? Because, like, yeah. Gary Busey, nor oh, in the 90s, Cass? In the 90s? 89 or 90, something like that. Yeah. The curious case of Phineas Gage, yeah. Like... Head injuries are fucked. And once you have one, you can't exactly... Yeah. 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 You can be a danger to yourself and others. 1988, off by a year. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, it's... Once you, once you start scrambling brains... <sighs> He was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Buddy Holly story was good. And, you know, fucking Point Break is fucking legendary. <laughs> ah, so many crew. Phineas Gage. So many criminal law flashbacks. Yeah, like, I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the truth of the matter. If somebody has, a, like, a mental disability as a result of trauma to the brain, they're a danger. And that's not a position that anarchists are usually comfortable discussing because, well, it's sad, but it's true, as Puka said. Okay, like, yeah. So. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, um, yeah. TJ Miller like had a yeah he had a rare condition that that resulted in damage. He he went in for surgery and all sorts of stuff. Like he wasn't that way prior to. Um. Yeah, he he had a he had an issue, and then shit. Um, cerebral arterial venous malformation on the right frontal lobe, uh, right front, uh, frontal lobe. Um, so yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah. And then he got all he got all weird, like bomb threat weird and like, Oh God, what else? He did the, the, the bomb threat, the transphobia email stuff and the sexual assault. Um, is there another? Oh, that's right. He assaulted an Uber driver too. Yeah. He assaulted an Uber driver too. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of shit. Um, but yeah, he, it did a number on him. Um, yeah, so arteriovenous mal, uh, malformation like that is uh, basically the way the um, the the arteries, arteries and veins in the brain connect to the brain tissue, and they have a malform malformation there, and it can cause all sorts of things. It can rupture. It can cause decreased blood flow to an area. It can cause X, Y, and Z. There's a whole host of problems that can result uh, be resultant from that. Yeah, that's um, that's yeah. Um, no, no, we're not. We're saying he, not they. No, we're talking about TJ Miller, not Ezra Miller. TJ. Um, yeah, Ezra's just fucked in the head. That's all. <laughs> Ezra's Ezra's old school fucked in the head. Not actual like you know physical malformation of the brain that we're aware of. Um, oh, osteogenesis imperfecta. I looked away. I don't even need, yeah. Osteogenesis imperfecta. Super rare, but interesting. Uh, one of your best friends has it. Um, yep. And that's been the, yeah, the dude who like, yeah, became pedophilistic after the, uh, the head injury um, or the tumor. Yeah, it was a tumor. And then they removed the tumor. And, yep. Um, yeah, it cleared up with the tumor removal, and then it came back with the tumor. When the tumor regrew, the the, the pedophilistic, pedophilistic impulses came back with it. Yeah, the guy was, by all accounts, perfectly normal prior to the brain tumor, and then the brain tumor f fucked this guy up and cr created a pedophile, and when they removed the tumor, the pedoph uh, pedophilia went away, but when the tumor regrew, that's, that's how they knew. Like it's, you know, yeah, he's getting the energies back. He's getting the impulses back and they're like, oh, let's go look. And the tumor was back. Yeah. You're it's uncomfortable. Like how you're not, <laughs> you're, you're uncomfortably close to like an entirely fucked up existence. One car accident, one bump on your head, one trip, like what, you know, one trip and fall. And your one brain injury away from life-changing personality differences and activity differences, and yeah, yeah, it's it's you're you're not that that far away from it. Um, honest man with brain tumor and pedophilia 
search would have gotten you it. Um, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> did you doubt that the James Webb telescope would capture impressive pictures? Or are you just hesitant because new technology being rolled out could, you know, we could have a misaligned mirror like we did with the Hubble. Um, they're every time they're all over social media. <laughs> I, I'd be surprised if nobody got it, if somebody didn't get exposed to those pictures, but you know, good on them. Um, interesting. Yes, the reason, and I love it when people call me probably radical, Jesus. The reason I said a million abortions is okay because you were, atta you were attempting to attach a higher limit number and you have no business doing that. You are not somebody's medical professional. You have no reason to be attempting to stratify a, uh, and create a scope and scale for a person's health care limitations. You are not a trained epidemiologist. You are not an OBGYN. You are not a policymaker in any way, shape, or form, nor are you the uh, primary health care provider for a person. Therefore, Walrus, yes, I said a million because you were attempting to put an upper limit on it. You have no business doing that, nor do I. So there should be no upper limit attached to it. Hence me going for a million, a billion, a trillion. It doesn't matter because in no way, shape or form should you or I be involved in that conversation. And if you're too fucking stupid or slow to catch up, to catch that up, then we're done having this conversation. Uh, yes, I do. Because if you were, you wouldn't have said some ignorant shit like that. Yeah, I do. As somebody who comes from a healthcare family and has medical professionals as, as a parent. Yeah, no, I know that immediately. No. You're in no way, shape, or form in any of those positions. You are not a trained epidemiologist. You are not a trained OBGYN. You are nobody's PCP. Because if you were, you wouldn't have said some stupid shit like that. 100%. Yeah, I know that. For sure. Yeah, nobody who has that level of training would have given that dumbass of an opinion. Straight up. So you admit you're not a medical professional in any uh, serving capacity. You're not a licensed medical professional and you're not in charge of any, uh, any people's uh, uh, maternal health care, right? Right? So in no way, shape or form should you be performing that action. You should not be attempting to provide medical limitations on people's care. You are not qualified for that position. I'm an anarchist. There you go. That'll get you there. <clears throat> I'm by, oh, fuck. I could do with some PP, PCP. PCPs. Ugh. <laughs> DCP on my marshmallow mateys. So this cop outside of Yankee Stadium for the game tonight has been a total dick. <laughs> it's a fan. Oh, lovely. What defines a leftist for you? What defines what de uh, defines right? What defines center? How do you calibrate your Overton window? VPP true. How do you calibrate your Overton window? How do you know you're slightly right? Maybe you're really right. How do you calibrate that? <laughs> it's 
steel. That's true, Deirdre. I mean, no, I've not been following the January 6th hearings because that's just too much time investment. Cricks, I, it's not only, but you know what? It's about a three to one split, probably. It's about a 75, 25% split, probably. Yeah. Yeah, the conservatives usually walk in with that. What? what? All right. So. All right. Yeah, let me clear that out of there. Cool, cool. Uh, ashes. Let me know when it's all done and we'll see if anything comes of it. Until then, I, you know, I've seen discovery processes within the United States, like parliamentarian systems too many times in my life that result in no action. So at the end of the day, like, you know, hey, like we, we had this thing and a bunch of shit went wrong and a bunch of people did criminal things. Cool. You going to do anything about it? No. All right, cool. Right. So, you know, it's sort of like who gives a shit until like somebody does something about it. Like it doesn't really matter. It's not a truth and reconciliation hearing. I don't care about, like, you know, at the end of the day, it's a matter of, are you going to act upon the information you've been bringing to light? No. Well, then, you know, big fucking deal. Uh, Deirdre, uh, because you know why. That's the fact that you're not aware of this. The January 6th hearing is separate from the civil hearing, is separate from, from the Virginia, is separate from the New York hearing, is separate from the Virginia hearing, right? Like this, these are, these are separate legal processes. Our system is perfectly capable of enacting multiple legal processes. The January 6th hearing is a different thing entirely. It's not a, tr a criminal trial. It's a committee investigation into the events of January 6th. It carries no legal binding. It can only recommend things. They can subpoena. And if you are found in contempt of, subpoena, uh, of the subpoena, then you can end up with some criminality and some charges there. Contempt of Congress is a very real crime. So that's that. But no, it's not a... Conservatives are so anti-revolutionary by nature, they fumbled a coup. They fumbled a coup that had a president on their side. It's fucking ridiculous. We have copies of his speech, by the way. Um, pff, cat. Um, he literally got... Oh, we have a full-on retard. Never mind. Holy shit. Yes, Max, I do. Uh, True believes that everybody... The, the people... Most of the people who made it inside the Capitol are Antifa. Holy shit. Antifa. You know how we know it's not Antifa? Is because, it, oh, you have proof? Provide the proof. You know how we know it's not Antifa? It's because they got fucking caught. Antifa knows how to actually conduct an op. Let's see the proof. This is gonna be great. What's up, what's up, Red Witch? Oh no, Ace, I don't wanna talk to this, this moron. It'd be a fucking, it'd be a headache of a conversation.
Mm hmm. Sure, sure. We'll wait for this groundbreaking evidence. Oh, God. Unfortunately, I have read Fountainhead. You got to be the dumbest motherfucker on the block, though, to fucking take any stock in Randy and objectivism. It's fucking the dumbest ideology outside of like so called ANCAPs. And uh, fucking, no, I never bothered with Atlas Shrug. I'm not that much of a masochist. Jesus, she was the dumbest fucking cunt walking. Only the, only the stupidest motherfuckers ever, like, fall for Randy and objectivism. It's, it's just right-wing libertarianism repackaged. <laughs> it's all it is. It's fucking, it's fucking Von Mises and shit. Watch this. Somebody's uh, somebody's trying to flood the channel with follows. We got a follow bot attack. Watch. You notice how it's not coming up anymore? You notice how it's just dead? You you, you notice how the, the, the follow bot attack just died instantly? Yeah. Funny how that works. What? That was, wow, super disruptive to the channel. Oh, anyway, <clears throat> how much time passed between the time Trump finished his January 6th speech at the Capitol? It was being attacked. Probably minutes, frankly. Oh, someone got their feet feet hurt. Yeah. Like it literally just. It's a click of a button for me. It's a click of a button. This is this is this is. This, oh. <laughs> this is the power of being an XIT guy, guys. This is the power of, like, you know, sitting down with Leor and Board and coding your own shit with it. Like, it just... Done. Gone. <sighs> These idiots have nothing. Oh. <sighs> My step one of cr uh, criticism of objectivism is, we quote, we want people to be rational, self-interested actors. Plus, we don't want taxes levied by the central government. Equals, we want educated pe uneducated people to fall prey to a system of abuse. Oh, God. Square. Probably. Probably. Uh, you are going to provide incontrovertible proof that Antifa comprised the majority of the people who made it into the Capitol on January 6th. Oh, Please, we'll be listening to the Jeopardy theme on repeat for the next 19 days then. Not the Antifa's. The Antifa's gonna get you. The Antifa's gonna get you. Uh, uh. Show me. Is is Antifa in the room with you right now, True? <clears throat> we await your proof with bated breath. Uh, Tara, right now we just shut down a, a follow bot attack like that uh programmatically i i handle that on my side uh we are being attacked though right now but right now we've got somebody in chat who claims to have incontrovertible proof apparently that the majority of people who made it into the capital on january 6 were antifa so we're waiting on that evidence mm, okay so it's going to take even longer now to provide that evidence Majority, majority, the majority of people were in, were Antifa. No, they already.
There's a delusional manufactured idiot in chat? Say it ain't so, Sam. Say it ain't so. Suggest a daily wire link already and be done with this. Question, do you think that Antifa got into the building on January 6th? Also think the U.S. government is fascist? No? Oh, somehow disconnect there. Oh, the evidence has gone missing, everybody. Shocking. I'm shocked. Shocked, everybody. Uh, Breitbart.com slash Antifa. January 6th, Antifa.doc. If they weren't Antifa, were they Profa? Yeah. Yeah, we watched it live on the air. Hmm, interesting. And you don't know how to use archive.org, uh, huh? See, this is, this is, where's our eight terabytes proof guy? Yeah, he disappeared too, Aka. And let me guess, it dis it disappeared off archive.org, too. It's funny how this proof just vaporized instantaneously. You can't even prove one guy was Antifa, let alone the majority of people there were Antifa. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Not even one. You can't even prove one, let alone majority. So, yeah. So pick a new guy, right? Pick a new guy. There's the majority of them. I'm sure there's a preponderance of ever, evidence. Just, just pick another one. I'm sure there's, like I said, overwhelming amounts of evidence, seeing as there were so many Antifa members there. <clears throat> Come on. You can do it. Just, just, I mean, just a modicum of something. Just anything. Just ban him. Cupcake, just ban him. Not, not the true guy, but the, the terrorist one. Just ban that account. Who cares? Don't even add him. Just get, pu pull it if you want. You uh, find if you didn't use this. Google. I show you, but I can't find it. Oh no, cops, cops, cops working on the side of bootlicker fascists. Who would have guessed? True. Who would have guessed? Oh, it's almost like somebody, there's a song, right? Didn't somebody write a song about, I don't know, uh, what's the old lyric? Oh, that's right. Some of those who work forces are the same who burn crosses. Rage Against the Machine explained this in the fucking 90s for dumb white boys who weren't paying attention. 
Jesus fucking Christ. The cops have long been on the side of fucking white supremacist fascist bootlickers in this country. Jesus Christ. If you weren't paying attention to the fact that labor labor union breaking labor union busting and slave patrolling is the origin of policing in this country and that cops in this country by and large are fascist pigs who are an occupying army of our nation state would coordinate with conservative ethno nationalists who want to cr- run a coup hmm, who would have guessed shocking shocking the cop lifted the gate for them yeah Yeah, and probably fist bumped him on the way by because cops are fucking pig bastards and are on the side of those douches. Simple as that. They always have been. Cops are a racist criminal institution. So, of course, they sided with the racists. Shocking. That's your evidence is that cops behaved in coordination and in line with ethno-nationalists? Wow, that's your evidence of Antifa act, uh, acting in, uh, in place. That's, that's your evidence for the majority of the people who entered the Capitol building being anti-fascist members. Which, by the way, Antifa doesn't have membership, nor do they have parties, nor do they really organize that way. Antifa is a loosely coordinated, loosely organized set of groups that use black bloc tactics because that's how you stay unknown. Jesus fucking Christ. That's how we know Antifa didn't do this is because it actually was a shit show there. If Antifa did this, they'd have fucking done some shit. But these dumb white redneck garbage human beings are fucking so used to uh, exercising their privilege within the system that they were shocked that somebody actually told them no and fucking put one of them down. Tried to cross that barricade. Tried to cross that barricade. What happened to her? Pop, pop. She found out, huh? The state will protect itself using its monopolization of force. Mm, She fucked around and found out. Yeah. It's interesting. And by the way, Antifa are World War II soldiers. Antifa! Yeah, people who fought Nazis. World War II soldiers. The vets. You know, the greatest generation, those were OG Antifa. The thing you hate ever so much, the thing you fear, the boogeyman in your room, true, is nothing more than a bunch of World War II veterans. Oh, oh, here goes, here goes the polls. Everybody, everybody, here goes, here goes the, the, the poll mo- moves. Really? We're going to try this again? There we go. And there we go. Even if you consider it wasn't Antifa, they went in and didn't burn the place down. What about the cities burned down peacefully? Goalpost movement, pivot hard do you want some tape for that ankle so you don't <clears throat> you don't uh, tear it up next time you pivot as hard as you did mm, interesting they didn't burn the place down no they just looted it tried to fucking hang the vice president tried to hunt down the speaker of the house stole the speaker of the house's laptop tried to s- hand that off to a foreign uh, government no not at all they didn't trash the place at all yeah she she walked this bitch walked out with a fucking nancy pelosi's laptop she's doing she's fucking she got oh my god you live in an alternative reality yes Here's her booking photo. Yeah, you're right, Aka. You're right. Yeah, all while recording themselves maskless. 
They live streamed it, dummy. They live streamed it. We all watched. Wish.com Aubrey Plaza. Jesus fucking Christ. I think they just had a stroke. I don't think I think a civil argument. Why should we? You're you're not even in the same reality. You've literally you've joined a cult. We're not cult deprogrammers. We're not here to make sure that you can get back in touch with reality. I'm, we're here to mock you openly. It's a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Wanton fucking ignorance. Yeah, dude. We're here to mock you, not deprogram you. You're a fucking joke. I also blame, uh, blame vague moral ideals for the crimes of specific individuals who actually believe the contrary. That's fair, Seal. Yes, yes. Yeah, because you're not here to have a good faith discussion. You lied up front. You, provide to play, uh, provide, uh, you failed to provide proof of your claims. You pivoted in bad faith, and then you attempted to move goalposts. Yeah, no. You're, you're not here in good faith. I, don't, I, I do not operate in good faith with those who do not operate in good faith with me. You were given your chance up front to provide the, uh, the extraordinary evidence for the extraordinary claims you made. We waited in good faith, and then you decided to backpedal, pivot, and shift the discussion immediately upon a discovery that you had no evidence for one, let alone the claim of the majority. You're not here in good faith, so we won't treat you as, you're in, uh, as if you're here in good faith. We're going to mock you. Yeah. That's how that works. You don't get good faith when you don't operate in good faith. That's how reality works. <laughs> Mocking marks for being folded into a scam isn't proof of being in a cult. It's proof of being sane. Oh. <sighs> Hey, Director of Cult Recovery Resources, here's a more appropriate resource to help you rather than staying here and being mocked. He's used to his clan. <laughs> Before I even spoke anything other than saying I have a different opinion, I was immediately insulted. You immediately walked in the nurse room and gave every sign that you were a fucking QAnon idiot. So, why don't you just get over it or fuck off? Stop being a little whiny bitch snowflake about it. God, this is the problem with the right. They got all these beta males that run around and just absolutely... Beta! It's all about their feelings and how, like, they were insulted and how they they're, we hurt their feelings and shit. Yeah, this is a problem with the right wing. They're all fucking snowflakes these days. Whatever happened to, like, real men who could handle an insult, right? Like, locker room talk. You know, they could, they could actually, like, hang out. Yeah. They're all, they're all fucking victims these days, and they complain. It's so, it's so, I don't know, feminine. He probably wants to take gun, take away gun rights too. Probably, he probably does. He's probably one of those fucking beta males that are like, guns are scary. Beta. Puka, I'm cis female and I have more balls. Goddamn right you do, Puka. Uh. Equating QAnon and Antifa just completely negates you from any serious conversation. Yeah, no, he was already negated from any serious conversation when he started shopping the uh, the theory that uh, Antifa was responsible for the January 6th fucking riot. Sure. Then leave. Then leave. 
You clearly like having people scream in your face. This is the equivalent of having people scream in my face. Then leave. Change the channel. Fuck off. Nobody's keeping you here. This is what freedom of choice actually looks like. So clearly you're a masochist. You're into BDSM of some sort. Right? You're you're definitely in the S and M camp because you're you're into the masochism because you're here. Oh, you're here to teach me. Come on the air then. Come on the air. Come teach me. Come teach me. Yeah, oh yeah, Ashes. He's into it. He's getting off. Come teach me. Come on the air and teach me. What do you have? What do you have to teach me? Keep in mind, I'm going to ask for evidence for everything that you say. I will be asking for cited sources on everything you claim. Know that, but I'll let you try. I'll get out of your way and let you do it. But you're going to need to be very thorough in your uh, your source citing, because this channel's seen what I'll do to somebody who claims to have sources and don't. You got Max. Should not be. Um, oh God. No. Anyway. Well, then if you don't have anything to contribute uh, vocally, then you have nothing to contribute textually. So we'll just do that and move on with our lives. So if you would like to join the Discord server, you can, and you can have a conversation with me, but you're not going to just pollute chat with um, nonsense. No, you're not banned. Just nobody can read your uh, your nonsense. That's all. Um, so, yeah. Come on the air and ha educate me. Edify me. Right? Or, that's it. The conversation's done. So, let's see. Oh, it looks like Trump has... Jesus Christ, how many? Oh, my God. The National Archives found more than 150 sensitive documents in the first batch of material. Um, so, it looks like he had more than 300 classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. 15 boxes, 300 classified documents. Good job. Steal. Um, Self-proclaimed objectivist who has a hate boner for Muslims. Have fun. It's being, uh, he hates being called a libertarian. Oh, interesting. Um, that'll be fun. Thank you for uh, the heads up for twos. Um, and again, true. Not You're not banned. You're shadow banned. See, you're still able to talk. But not to chat, only to me. Only to mods. We see what you say, but nobody else does. Because, well, frankly, there's no need to pollute the airstreams with your sort of nonsense unless you're going to come on air and defend your position with cited sources and reasoned arguments. Until you act in good faith, yes, you are sequestered. 
Ah. Ah. Uh, I prefer quarantine, says Beast. Um. <clears throat> I wouldn't have cared if you were rude. Rude doesn't bother me. Willfully ignorant. Spreading easily disprovable theorems and uh, conspiracy theories. That, that, that bothers me. Not being able to provide evidence for claims. That bothers me. Rude doesn't bother me in the least. You could have been as rude as you wanted. We're fine with rude. What we hate is willfully ignorant. Ah, uh, so. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> That's borderline doxing. You're so full of shit. That's not even close. That's literally not even close. Holy shit. Uh, hey, cool kid. Hey, cool kid. Want to come on the air? I'd love to hear more from you. Cricks. Yeah. It was a rough, it was a rough weekend for him. Cool. It should be interesting. I'm a big fan of a Socratic methodology, so I'll probably ask you a series of questions first to try and figure you out. So, yeah, cool kid. We'll go at it. Oh, I know. He's not even in the Discord yet. Fine, we'll wait. We'll wait for him to be in the Discord. Fine. David Lynch's Dunes was superior to... Oh, yeah, I mean... Oh, well, then... That, too. <clears throat> yeah, well, then that, too. Oh, let them, let them both scream from the Shadow Realm. No interacting. Dig because they're fundamentally cowards and they always are. Most conservatives are cowards. What's up, Aurora Forest? Uh, if you'd like to know more about, well, I suppose, IT or specifically anarchism. There we go. And there we go. Cowards mostly. And just do that. There we go. They're still coming in. I just I just undid it, but they still come in. There you go. Somebody has spent one of the conservatives that we fucking we uh, <clears throat> showed for what they are apparently has spent a few bucks. Yep. 
Yeah, Caboose is correct. Most conservatives are cowards as they want an authoritarian system. Big Daddy calling all the shots. I mean, fundamentally, all conservatism finds its origins, modern conservatism finds its origins in Burkean philosophy. And Edmund Burke was an advocate for maintaining the monarchy in France due to, uh, to maintain uh, stable economic uh, relations with them from, uh, from England, right? It was the devil you know versus the devil you don't. Uh, Burke would, would have preferred an authoritarian uh, dictatorial monarchy as opposed to an unstable uh, re revolutionary system because for him money mattered more so yeah at the at the core all modern conservatism finds its origin point with Berkey and philosophy and wanting a strong man to hold together the elements of society because they're well fundamentally afraid conservatives fear that's we already know this we already have fmri studies of conservative brains that show an overdeveloped amygdala response they they actually have changes in their brain conservatism breaks your actual brain it does harm Is there a conservative you can tolerate a bit? Not social conservatives, no. Boom. Fiscal conservatives you might be able to work with, but social conservatives? No. No, social conservatism is just nothing more than uh, authoritarian, racist, ethnocentric ideologies. It's chauvinism repackaged. Yeah, that's what social conservatism is. It's chauvinism repackaged. It's about in-group, out-group dynamics, and it's about having an out-group so the in-group can exploit them and uh, generally punish them. Yeah. No, I, I, social conservatives are the bane of existence. Burke was a whiny little bitch needing saying uh, need, needed saying twice so the various fox uh, this new country is scary just leave me alone with my sheep mm, conserving racism homophobia hate and capitalism uh, Krapa, you're uh, you're repeating yourself there conserving racism homophobia hate and well racism homophobia and hate right <clears throat> anyway Fiscal conservatism is just a symptom of profit motive under capitalism. I'm not really political alignment or identifier. Max, I agree. Uh, it's just you can you can sometimes make like uh, arguments. You can you can launch a, a workable argument with a fiscal conservative. The argue that like, hey, uh, housing the homeless is actually fiscal more fiscally responsible in the uh, in the long term as opposed to letting them be on the streets due to the excess uh, stress on our resources, emergency rooms, that sort of thing. And so you can make a fiscal argument with a with a fiscal conservative uh, to push them in a progressive uh, way, but you can't uh, with, uh, with social conservatives. Social conservatives are just garbage human beings. Yeah. You show me a social conservative, I'll show you somebody who is more than willing to let brown people die, is more, more than willing to let trans people die, is more than willing to let all of the fascist symptoms of a society go on by without a fucking word. Yeah. Let, let all of the gay people die of a preventable, you know, pandemic. Yeah, that sort of thing. If you could separate the right wing from conservatism, you might uh, you might find something worth considering a philosophical position. Otherwise, it's just fear monitoring for the purposes of pushing the populace into the arms of another strong man. Um, race traitors to the human race. Yeah, they are. They legitimately are. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Libertarians piss me off too. Not gonna lie. Yeah, especially since it's inorganic, bad faith uh, political uh, territory that was re that was captured. Traditional libertarianism has nothing in common with right wing libertarianism as seen in North America. Right? 
it, tradition, uh, traditional libertarianism is, you know, French libertas. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's about fraternity. It's about brotherhood. It's about freedom, right? Um, right-wing libertarianism, uh, libertarianism in North America is informed by Austrian economists. It's an entirely different school of thought. What we've come to understand as libertarianism is nothing more than, you know, right-wing conservatism and minarchism repackaged for the purposes of providing political cover and shielding for bad faith argumentation, especially in the form of Murray Rothbard and all of his ilk. That entire school of thought is all born of bad faith argumentation, all the way dating all the way back to fucking Hayek and von Mises. It, it starts with an anti-empiricist position. The positions put forth by the Austrian school outside of Schumpeter are fundamentally of the uh, of the nature that empirical evidence cannot discount or disprove uh, von Mises' th uh, theorems. Only a theorem can counter a theorem, which is fucking insane. Von Mises himself maintained that no amount of evidence could ever overthrow any of his theorems. Like, that's the craziest fucking position to hold. The Austrian School of Economics outside of Schumpeter is fundamentally anti-empiricist, and it all just gets worse from there. You end up, you end up uh, fast-forwarding all the way up to Rothbard, and then you have true bad faith argumentation. Rothbard actually argued in bad faith and knew it. He fundamentally knew it. He, that he straight up, stated that anybody who understand the historical or etymological context of the word anarchism or anarchist could never in good faith call themselves a uh, call themselves a, a so-called anarcho-capitalist it was a bad faith argument he actually admitted that it was a bad faith argument libertarians act this way all the time right-wing libertarians in north america act this way all the time they act in bad faith they do not are actually have a discussion, a reasoned discussion of the topics at hand. What they do is use a pseudoscience and a, uh, a, a maligned view of the world to espouse hateful ideology. It's nothing more than racism, ethnocentrism, chauvinism, patriarchy, but chauvinism, in-group, out-group dynamics, right? It's nothing more than chauvinistic practices put to policy. That's it. That's how you end up with uh, with fucking Hoppe here in Vegas for actually saying crazy shit. Hoppe being the hoppy and right wing so called end cap right wing libertarian type, literally saying that oh well, uh, Europe shouldn't let African immigrants in because it's going to lower the collective IQ and you can't allow for for you can't allow for the dirtying of your genetics. Right, he says crazy shit in his econ uh, economics classes. He's been fucking. He's people have attempted to censor him, censure him here at UNLV because of the crazy shit he says that gay uh, the LGBT community would have to be quote purged from a libertarian society due to the fact that they are not uh, rational actors within an economic system. Straight up said it. That like, oh yeah, yeah, I would purge the uh, the LGBT community because they're, quote, not rational actors within an economic system. Oh yeah, these are the libertarians. These are the, 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 the end caps. These are your fucking Randian objectivists. These are your schools of philosophy and thought that you deal with on that side. And then, and then, then they fucking, these idiots argue that you're, well, you're not argue, arguing in good faith. Why would I? You're a bunch of garbage human beings. You're the worst kind of people. Yeah, no. Rational actors don't exist. Any modern economist outside of fucking the Austrian school has to admit to themselves that rational actors aren't an, a, 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 very, a valid variable within an economic system. Any of the fucking new schools understand that, but old school fucking economic theorists don't get this still. They're tied up way in their own head about shit. <sighs> cool kid. Discord works over a browser. You don't need to download anything. Anybody can work Discord over a browser, and if you refuse to act in good faith and have a conversation with me on air that way, then you can just sit where you are. 
because nobody needs to hear your uh, your garbage ideology. It's that simple. Look, you either defend it in good faith on air or you keep it to yourself because we've all heard it a thousand times. He's standing Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg now, just so you know. If you're, if you're wondering what he's doing in the shadow realm, yeah. Good night, God. Take care of yourself. Yes, rich daddies. Yeah, of course he is. Because they all want, all they want is a daddy to tell them what to do. That's all any of these guys want. They just want, they want a dom. They want a dommy mommy. They want a dommy daddy. That's it. It's all they want. They want somebody with a big stick to come along and smack them and tell them they're a dirty, dirty boy and to fucking behave. That's all they're after. If they just hire a dominatrix like a normal functioning person, then they wouldn't have these fu malignant personality traits. Uh, the Minotaur can have them. Uh, what's my opinion on the Tic Tac UFO sighting released from the DOD? I don't have one. She does. I don't even think I've seen the video. Maybe I, I don't have one. I don't have one. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> uh, it's funny when you think about it, a lot of conservatism comes down to sexual fetishes. Yeah. Imagine that. Dark triad. I prefer the dark tetrad, but you know, it is what it is. Um, no, you clearly do have BDSM kinks. So either way, this is the last time I'm going to address you. Cool kid. Either get on the air. Or I'm just going to ignore you from this point out. Just so you know. Um, Saw the guy on Lux Freeman podcast the other day. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, but not every Dom will play with them. Like, if they're lazy fucks and don't have the fucking balls to go to the gym, wash and brush their hair. Uh, it's no fun with the ones who don't. Fair enough. Uh, I've thought that at least some conservatives had a confused sex situation, but after what my psychiatrist said a few months ago, it does really seem to be a huge thing. No, it is. Exel, it really, really is. Exels are fucked. Exels, sorry, Exel. Conservatives are fucked in the head when it comes to, to their sexuality. It is. They're just fucked in the head. They have all sorts of fucked up power dynamic issues. And as a result, it manifests in absurd ways. Uh, <laughs> fair enough, Exel. the most secure amongst us now dubbed exiles <laughs> uh. what's up Jaden uh, let's see extremely celibate All right Max <laughs> excels extremely celibate Oh, that actually, Max, uh, Max, we, uh, when the word <clears throat> that we can't use got banned on Twitch, we actually suggested using Excels as one of the replacement words. Yeah. We had a community brainstorming. We we're like, well, we're, they're taking words from us and we believe in the euphemism treadmill. You're not getting rid of slurs. You just replace the words. It's all with new words. It's fucking stupid. So yeah, we were like, all right, let's call them Excels. <laughs> yeah. It, it immediately like that's that's the euphemism treadmill that's what people fight against it's like you can't say that well you know what's about to happen somebody's just going to assign a new word 
<laughs> it's fucking stupid. Oh, why waste your time? Wow, Twitch has fucked up priorities? All right. Who would have guessed? <clears throat> You just open it in the browser. Cool kid. You just open it in the browser. There's literally a button for it. Open Discord in browser. No, Dick, he's already gone. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Uh, let's see. Let's see if they're still flooding in. Hold on. No, looks like alerts are good for a moment. Uh, conservatives are molding over this. All right, let's see it. Oh, God. It's hey, this is Sam Harris now. Anyway. Let's see. Let's do that. And then that. There we go. Perma. No need to deal with it. Ah. Yeah. It, boom. For me, bot attacks are fucking nothing. I just literally, I click a button. That's it. Like, all I do. Here. This is all I do. I come in and do this. And they're gone. Literally. It just clears my entire queue instantaneously. It fucking, it's gone. The bots are shut down. It just, literally, it's it's one click of a checkbox. Gone. <laughs> it's bot, bot attacks on my channel are, like, I don't get people. Like, I don't get people. Like, hate raids are so disruptive to the community. Not if you set your shit up correctly, it's not. Do you just fucking shut it all down with a single click of your mouse? So, anyway. Yeah. We pissed off, uh, we can count on, we pissed off a bunch of fucking people tonight. That's what we can count on. So, everybody, everybody, everybody. Take a moment. Take a moment. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a little hug, get a, get a drink, uh, uh, you know, do what you want to do, but you've earned it. We definitely have, we, de I mean, people are spending money to try and attack the stream tonight. Okay. Um, how many follows did I gain? I don't know yet. We'll see fucking, I mean, at least a couple hundred, at least a few hundred, at least. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, somebody's, somebody, we, we, we got to one of them. We got to one of those guys. Whoever it was, we've definitely got to them. Bubble Wars.
Hey, Sonia. Yeah. Yeah, you did, Sonia. Sorry, we had a few. Oh, dang. I arrived in between hate raids and bot attacks. I mean, you know, Rune, it happens. It happens. The rich guy. You know my favorite was the rich guy? Yes. Yeah, dig. Yeah, the rich guy from earlier. Fucking digs like, maybe the rich guy from earlier. No, he was too ignorant. He was completely too unaware to know how to spin up a bot bot attack. No. Uh, but the rich... No, no, no. The rich guy from earlier makes ma uh, is my favorite from the night. There's no way he's responsible for this. He's too fucking dumb uh, to have pulled it off. But... He was my favorite. I just love rich people who say crazy shit and have no idea. They can't hear themselves. It's fuck that's my favorite shit. Uh then no. Cool kid, you have to be 18 to use this channel. And if your mother is dictating your uh, Discord usage, then you're not 18. You're not supposed to be here in the first place. Uh, let me expand this. If your mother can dictate your, your Discord usage, no. Oh, well, then you're gone. Cool kid, this is an 18, year, uh, 18 plus community. You clicked, you agreed that you were 18 or over when you came into this channel. You, uh, you lied on that page clearly. Enjoy your ban. There we go. <laughs> yeah, hit uh, square. Yeah. Go play Fortnite, kiddo. <laughs> Maybe he's 40 and lives in Arkansas. No, he, he admitted he's a teenager and won't disclose a specific age. The teenager, by the way, is a Randy and objectivist. Anybody? Anybody want to cringe? Anybody want to cringe? Anybody want to cringe? The teenager is a Randy and objectivist. Different person. Different person, Kath. That was that idiot. VP truth. Uh, VP, 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 whatever. Whatever. The true idiot. <clears throat> <coughs> Daddy told me what I am. <laughs> uh, how does a teenager even know what Randy and objectivism uh, even is? is oh, kids today. They get up to all sorts of crazy shit, Caboose. Kids, they get up all sorts of crazy shit. They're all they're all up on that four chans and shit, and they learn about shit. And the next thing you know, they're fucking following Andrew Tate. <clears throat> uh, Kaz, I can't keep up with all the stupid. I know, right? It's been a stream. It's definitely been a stream. I believe idiots raided the Capitol. Is that the same? Aurora, close enough. You're close enough, Aurora. <clears throat> a Randy and objectivist technically means they collect welfare writing books about the welfare state. I mean, that's not even technically. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what a Randian is for sure. Fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> Son, we come from a long line of Randy and objectivists. Oh my God. Imagine growing up in that house. Imagine growing up in that house. Oh God. See, Sonia, exactly. Hey, kids today, they get up to all sorts of stuff. Andrew Tate's son or objectivist daughter? Objectivist daughter. Oh, you know what? Wait, no. Obje uh, Andrew Tate's son. Andrew Tate's son. Papa, I can fix the Andrew Tate's son f f so much faster than the objectivist daughter. Nobody's going to want to hear this. 
you want to hear you want to know you want to you want to nobody nobody's gonna want to fucking hear this this could be some this could i'm gonna dude it's easy right you got a 16 year old son this is so not pc this is so not pc this is this is this is really not pc you got a 16 year old kid and he's into andrew tate just get him get him a sex worker she'll fix that shit in one minute it'll be done it'll be done just like that i'm telling you Uh, yeah, Max. I mean, it's, that's, that's caboose. It's true, but you shouldn't say it. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. It's like, it shouldn't be said out loud, but like, that's the problem. You got a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of fucking virgins running around yelling about women. Do they just need to get exposed to a woman? Like that's, that's, that's the first woman, first woman they come across is going to fucking sort them out. Right? Like, that's that's some shit that, you know, yeah, boy, you ain't ever going to touch pussy like this, like this if you don't learn to respect women. Right? Like, it. <sighs> First woman they come across will fucking <laughs> come across. Uh, we'll fucking straight that out real quick. Yeah. So, do you like lapping as Satan or what? <laughs> Uh, Borat 3 should be he writes a book for conservatives oh why does it have to be our job though says Aurora I mean Aurora there are jobs in society that keep society functioning I'm about to say some real shit I'm about to say some real shit there are jobs in society that keep society functioning we, we identify those jobs historically and contemporarily healthcare workers firefighters Right, like teachers, these are the people that keep society running, functioning. Sex workers were there before all of it. Without sex workers, society fails. Done. Society fails without sex workers. Yeah. It's like firefighters, or doctors, or teachers, or nurses. They're a core aspect of who we are as a species. They're not an aberrance. They're not a malignancy. They're not a tumor. They're a core part of who we are. They're a core part of how we function as a functioning society. That aspect of ourselves is undeniable. Food, water, shelter, sex. Yeah. I, I I don't just like, look, I live in Las Vegas, right? I've got probably the most enlightened view on sex work one can have socially, right? Like, this isn't, yeah, Caboose, I, eventually I would have. Yeah, we taught chimps. We taught chimps. Researchers taught chimps. They, they associated value to current, they created currency for them. They gave them tokens. And if you fucking, if they gave them, if they gave the researcher the token back, they would be rewarded with food. So a bunch of researchers taught chimps the value of money, right? The first behavior manifested as a subset of that currency was that the um, male chimpanzees began handing the tokens to the female chimpanzee in trade for sex. That's a very real thing that happened. Do you understand like the ramifications of that experiment? Do you understand what that means for us as a species? This is a core behavioral trait to our species. And sex workers are the pressure release valve. They're the moderating element in our society. They're the thing. They're the, the, the pre-burn of a forest, 
right? Indigenous societies understand you do have to burn some of the forest to maintain this system, this cycle. The lightning will do it eventually. The system requires it and we can optimize it. We can, we can modulate the system. Indigenous societies understood this. Sex workers are the pre-burn. They're the modulating element within our society that keeps that much larger, much deeper, much darker element of our society to a tenable note. I, I, yeah, I don't see sex workers as like a welcome part of our society. I see them as a necessary element of us, of our society. That's to, to outlaw such a concept is such an insane proposition. You have to just regulate it. That's it. That's all you can do. You can, you can just, you can just sort of agree to certain rules. Like, look, let's do it this way. Right. And you can shape it up. You can make sure it's safe. You can make sure it's, it's a humane thing. Australia is a good example. The Netherlands are a good example. And the, the cat houses here are very good examples. They're fucking, yeah. You, you think anybody fucks with one of them? You think anybody fucks with one of them? Do you realize how much of a maniac you would have to be to come into a fucking pro, uh, 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 a brothel in Nevada and fuck with one of the girls? You're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. The, when the brothel's done with you, even the cops are going to fucking give you a roughing up. Like, you're, you're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. Like, dig, yeah. Oh, you'll get shot. Like, for real. Like, just agree to rules. It's a core element of society. Yeah, fucking, I have mad respect for sex workers. <laughs> See how it happens all the time, too. <sighs> nah. That's fine, Kuna. Um... One of my friends in Reno was a legit sex worker, like in a brothel. The conditions are so good. No, they're amazing. They make bank, too. They make bank. They make bank. Fucking A. Like I've said on there, I've known I've known two strippers that paid for uh paid for expensive college. Um and yeah, Sunshine Thomas, when she was working, um she was uh she was booking a ten thousand a night minimum. Like if you wanted to if you wanted to book her, you had to drop 10k on her up front. And the price only goes up from there. That's your fucking starting rate. Anything you asked for, like it's all a la carte, guys. It's all a la carte. Um it's all a la carte. It's like, okay, I you know. You can negotiate a price for a hand job. You can negotiate a price for a blow job. You can negotiate a, uh, a price for anal, for vaginal sex. You can negotiate a price for some rougher stuff. You can, you know, get pegged. You can, but it all of that is going to come at a cost. It's all going to come at a cost. <laughs> you can get an all inclusive, but if you're going to want some weird shit, she's also going to want to fucking know about that. And that's going to cost you extra too. You better fucking believe that sex work in Nevada as we run it with the American capitalist spirit. Oh, it's all a cart. <laughs> it's fucking what you want. That's what you pay for. Yeah. Anything outside that? Hmm. <clears throat> uh, we decriminalized sex work in New Zealand in 2003. Best thing we did is give them much safer conditions. Yeah, no, immediately it's much safer. All of John's getting tested, contraceptives everywhere. Everything's meticulously clean. My friend literally flew to France on a whim. She was so stacked. Yeah, Max, no, they fucking, they make bank. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's absurd. It's absurd. Like, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I, I, I know 
I don't know them anymore, but I knew two women who stripped here. They both got law degrees. That's two former stripper lawyers that are out in the world now. Yeah, they paid. Dude, they pay cash for everything. They pay cash for everything. They pay cash for everything. They were stacked. And dudes, they, they were they were they were clever, right? They they got a few sugar daddies along the way. Like, yeah, dude, fucking, where'd you where, where'd you where'd you get that? Oh, you know, yeah, he got it for me. Oh yeah, they knew like they would accept gifts, but not from some schmuck. They did like same dudes that just had money to blow. Yeah. Yeah, he bought me a car. What? We're going, you know. Um. <clears throat> Wait. Sex work is a complex topic. Some people make big money, sure, but it's like the exception. Poverty is a real thing in that also. Yeah, dude. Well, but Rune, like, that's, that's the thing is if you legalize it and, like, allow, like, entry into it, it becomes a different thing. Dude, the, the illegal side, the low side... Um, the, uh, the low side of it is fucking terrible, <clears throat> terrible. It's terrible, but you like, yeah, like that's, that's what legalization does for it though, is this is minimize that. Do you know how hard we go after sex traffickers here? Like you, I gotta, I gotta tell you is like. As a Vegas resident, like, we got problems, trust me. Like, our shit's, like, right on the surface, which is why this place is more... It's this is the only smart thing Deepak Chopra ever said. The most spiritual city in the world is Las Vegas because it's the only city that's honest with you. It's it's up front. Vegas is very clear on, on what we are and how we operate and what we do. It's very much right there for you. The level of, like, the level of corruption that we have with the casino to the state is all right on display for you. Like, it's it's all right there for you. And, yeah, you fuck around and get caught up in that shit here in this, in this city. Like, yeah, like, it will... We go after that pretty hard, actually. <clears throat> it's bad for business. It's bad for business. Don't think it's out of some, like, ethical fucking framework. Vegas does it because it's bad for business. And so, like, you're, you're literally a part competitor, part, like, bad PR for us. So, knock it the fuck off. You don't do that here. Right? Like, it's, it's, it's a fascinating place to live. And some of the, ram like, ethical ramifications of that are fucking weird. Um... Jesus Christ, Max. <sighs> you, me, peaceable spirit, gift, ultimately health for possible hope, wisdom, health, joy, love, peace, quantum sharing. Dear sweet Jesus. I... <laughs> I, <laughs> nah, that's a bot. <laughs> yeah, Papa, Papa, you a bot, bro? You sound like a bot. Oh, those are always problematic. Yeah, I knew it. I was like, the bit, the first one's the giveaway. There we go. Uh, like when you plug a bunch of terms together. Yeah, dude, program, dude, beast. I was immediately there with you. Dude, this was programmable matter all over the place. I was like, holy shit, this is a brainism. Like this is, this is the kind of shit that brain drops on you. Well, I suppose I should congratulate Deepak Chopra for, um, for actually, uh, reaching proper worthwhile levels that's 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 if you can come up with a brainism i mean he only gets one in his life brain cranks them out 
But I mean, to 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 come to bear to come to bear with a Breenism even once in your life is an amazing moment, I suppose. Um, no, no, dig. We didn't do a second movie. No, I, I held off. We'll do, we'll do them in pairs. We've been do a Breen run for a while, so we'll do we'll do the next two in, uh, this Friday. I should, I should, you know what? We're going to do this right now. We're going to do this right now. Um, copy address. All right. So here, um, there links link in chat. <clears throat> um, that's, that's what you want. Um, and then right this moment, let's do you. Let's copy that command and edit appearance. That would be, um, alert song. Yeah. Let's go with that and delete that and put that link in there there and I suppose um all right I'll put that over there um god damn it why is it oh because that's not <laughs> good job Kai all right, cool. Um, okay, so a word song. Yes, no. Oh, did I not change that? I didn't change the command. I just commit. Pff, fucking hey. Uh, trigger. There we go. Dummy. There we go. Now we do this. And there it is. Cool. All right, so there's a command in case anybody wants that in the future, just for the regulars. We, uh, when people are asking for the fucking, the follow or the sub song, alert song, we'll get them there. <clears throat> uh, I don't know it off the... Dude, yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> Where the fuck do I find that? Uh, Cause my dashboard's a whole other thing for them. Let's see. Uh, you always thought what was Japanese caboose? The alert? It's Ukrainian. Yeah, it's a Ukrainian, it's a Ukrainian anarchist song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't have that page. Um, nope. And nope. And nope. Not on that page. Not on that page. Not on that page. Not on that page. I have gone to literally every page that is available to me as a user on Better TTV. Don't have that URL for you. So, sorry. Don't know where it comes from. Don't know how it's generated. Um... So, cool kid is whining and moaning the age restriction didn't pop up for him well then contact twitch you uh twitch uh tech support <clears throat> um yeah i mean 
it should just automatically integrate. It should be on your fucking page. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like either way, like if he, Hey, like, yeah, tell him like straight up. Like if he had that problem, well then contact Twitch, but you know, <laughs> be sure to mention that the, the streamer banned him after finding out that he was, that he didn't meet the 18 age requirements. <laughs> like as soon as he found out I didn't meet the 18 or over age requirement, he banned me. Cool. I'm good with just contact Twitch support then. Cause like that's their problem. Not mine. Your fucking age gate pop-ups aren't, aren't popping. Not my problem. Um, <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what that complaint's going to get him. Like, <laughs> it didn't come up for me. You're still not 18, man. <laughs> did in the last like 10 minutes, did you age up a couple of years? Cause like, you're not still not 18, man. Like, I don't, I don't understand why this is a fucking problem. My problem. <laughs> this is why I don't have ban unban requests. You know this, right? We don't do unban requests on this channel. Like that's not a thing. You have to you have to manually reach out to a mod and contact them and t tell them. Because I, I refuse. That unban thing is just a way for fucking trolls to annoy you one last way as a streamer. On their way out the door, they get to have the last word. Like, fuck off. I'm not I'm not I'm not listening to more death threats from tankies and fucking more like yeah, like <laughs> unban request. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. You went to the aging beach. <laughs> that's that's definitely what happened. Oh fuck! Heard about a twelve-year-old who accomplished a nuclear fusion, but time travel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> def definitely. Can you please unban me? I will get right on that FBI. I'll get right on that man. Yeah, you be good. <clears throat> Boom, right at the top of the show. See the title. That's what that's in reference to. <laughs> Play fascist games. Get anti-fascist prizes. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, Tanky is an authoritarian so-called communist um, that <laughs> stand genocidal uh, regimes such as Stalin and Mao and Pol Pot and um, are overly concerned with inconsequential aesthetic details. You'll see them often blazing red and the hammer and sickle, of course, right up front. And they will say things like, oh, homosexuality is a creation of Western capitalist decadency and that... Um, Oh, what's another good one? Um, oh, I saw one just the other day. What was that one? Um, oh, um, oh, I might actually have that. Have you noticed the Western liberal imperial imperialists love to act as if all genocide is bad? They claim that killing off the fake people called Ukrainians is something we should be against. Why is it that all, all genocide is wrong? Because Western propaganda says it's wrong? No thanks. Um, communist aesthetics plastered all over the Twitter account, of course. Um, so that's a tanky. <laughs> Uh. Oh, FBI, they've always been that way. Do they've always been that way? Honestly. They 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 comprise the most um uh the most death threats we've ever gotten as a channel. Like collectively? Yeah, no. We've the, the, the tankies composed the death threats. Like there's a few chuds sprinkled in throughout it. But, like, no, legitimately, the tankies are the majority of the death threat. Like, they're not even the majority. We're talking, like, 98%. Okay, 
Okay, like they're overwhelmingly aggressive and violent by default. They always have been. The the commies in general are fucking violent nut jobs. That's how they solve problems. Is they just gulag and genocide. That's that's their solution. To everything. Fucking get with the program or, you know, done. Simple. So yeah. Yeah, no love lost between the anarchists and the fucking communists at this point. I, I, I'm, I'm a modern anarchist. Like I learned my lessons from history. These fucking modern anarchists that like, don't that like, look, I'll work with him. If it means like I get to feed a homeless dude and food, not bombs, but collectively like ideologically, no, I won't work with them. No, they're fucking they're Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? No, no. If you want to get to communism, you do it through anarchism. It's that simple. You want to eliminate the capitalist state, right? We're going to do that through empowering the capitalist state. Like, it's fucking stupid. So just be an anarchist. Get with the fucking program. You want to hit achieve communism, you get there through anarchism. Simple. The ANCOMs are the only sane ones in the batch. Like, the, the ANCOMs, like, get it. They're like, yeah, I want to head towards communism. Dude, you can head towards a lot of stuff using anarchism. There's a whole fucking contingent that are heading towards communism. And they're, you know, they're ANCOMs. They're anarcho-communists, like, straight up. Like, they, they are our brothers and sisters. Like, it's fucking, it's how it works. Um, whatever siblings, I suppose, right? It's not as, oh God, it just doesn't, siblings is as poetic. Um, so, yeah, anarcho-communist. Rune collector, anarcho communist. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> yeah, like that's that's fucking I, communists straight up, like unadulterated communists, like Marxists, Stalinists, Maoists, fucking Hawkists or whatever. How Hoff, How do how do we fucking say the uh the was it albanian dude's name <laughs> hawks hawksa but it's not an x it's pronounced some other letter cat will fucking chime in here in a few seconds and tell me um do fbi exist in an anarchist world god no um <laughs> ha ha ho ha not really like yeah it's it's fucking ho hosha hoja hoja fucking hojaists fucking you know take it no no that the whole lot of them thank you cat <laughs> uh okay actually pretty close okay what a bunch of hosers uh hoism just hose <laughs> Fair enough, Axel. Um, there's worse ideologies out there. <laughs> you could be a Posadist. <laughs> um, anar anarcho bimboism. Why not? Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do. They're overwhelmingly violent. <laughs> They really are. It, it's it's astounding the that the, they immediately go there. The ta tankies especially, but the communists, yeah, they immediately go there. Like it's it's a sort of like zero to a hundred with the tankies, uh, just in an instant. Like the the and rape threats, a lot of rape threats, a lot of rape threats, a lot of rape threats. Like the tankies really fucking roll out the, the 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 rape and death threats. A lot of rape threats. It's fucking. It's one of their go-to moves. Yeah. I dig an anarchist society that basically revolve around big titty fem bimboing up mutual aid efforts. Cat. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Something like the central investigation. Yeah, for sure. Oh, God. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's people welcoming. 
<clears throat> um, did you? Yep. Okay. Got passed. Just making sure. Cool. Cool. Soviet army was famous for raping across Eastern Bloc and Central Asia. Yeah, dude, they really they Yeah, they they go to it, man. They go to it. Um, hmm. Uh, just <laughs> seeing something. <sighs> Waiting for bimbo progress picks at oh, Jesus. <laughs> Be the change you want to see. Well, you know, yeah, exactly. Uh, I've seen that hentai. Uh, Aurora, 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 Aurora. Let me let me do you a favor. For the questions that are speculative, answer the question as if you were designing a world, right? If it if it asks you like you know, it just your your God for a moment, Aurora, your God your ideology your method of work how would you do it just forget everything else answer that way that'll give us the most honest answer um <clears throat> oh yeah the soviet army also massacred polish prisoners of war and try uh and try to scare the nazis Twenty thousand shot in the back of the head yeah no the fucking hit their oof, jesus i i i just can't I can't with this, the sort of like apologia around the, the level of horror that the Soviets got up to, that the communists have gotten up to this. It's like late nineties, early two thousands, the communist party in the Philippines down in the archipelago, um, were using landmines to assassinate political rivals for real. Like that's a real, that's a real thing that happened in like recent memory for anarchists and uh, organizers and activists in, uh, in the archipelago is that like the communist party in the, in the Philippines used la landmines to uh, conduct an assassination. Like When you go up against the fucking commies, shit is, yeah, yeah, that's their go-to. That's their go-to place is right away they get violent. I mean, that's what authoritarian systems do. And don't think I'm just picking on the fucking commies for a moment. Like, I mean, I kind of am for the moment, but like, do the capitalists do that too? That's their go-to move. That's all they have. Like the capitalists at least try to like, they both do propaganda. They both do like, you know, state propaganda campaigns. They all do like their various degrees of social manipulation, but like their only move is a monopolization of force. That's the state. That's what it's about. And that's how Marx wanted to do it again through the state. That's the whole Bakunin Marxian critique once again is that the difference between us and them is they want to do it through the state. They want to do it through the empowerment of the state. They want to do it through learned men of academic sciences and stuff like that. And that's not how anarchists do shit. That's not how we get shit done. And it just that's it's that's authoritarianism. Capitalism and communism suffer from the same problem. And it, when you do the authoritarian method of it, it's not the problem with both of these systems or critique of both of these systems is that they're authoritarian in nature. They're coercive. They're oppressive. Like you're taking away people's autonomy, right? In, in, in one instance, you're doing it for the empowerment of a few via this method. And in the other instance, you're doing it for the empowerment of a few via this method. Right? Like it's, but you're still empowering a few people at the expense of the masses. And both systems get to make claim, lay claim to, hey, look at the material improvements we made in people's lives. That communism gets the same claim to fucking communism that this, the, the tankies make for fucking China, that like they lifted millions out of poverty. So did the fucking capitalists. Like it's, it's a non argument. It's, it's, you're both suffering from the same thing. You did it at the expense of others. You lifted up an in-group at the expense of an out-group. It's an inherently exclusionary system. 
Both conducted genocides. Both waged war on indigenous peoples. Both exploited the developing nations around them. Like, of course, like the criticism is exactly the same occurs both sets. That's why the only saint anarchism at this point is like agnosticism. Like the only sane position is to be like, yeah, I don't know. Right? Like if somebody says they know what God is and the nature of existence is, they're fucking nuts or they're trying to sell you something. Um, and so like the only sane position is to say, I don't know. How can I know? Right? Who are you going to put in charge of humanity? Who do you trust? Seriously, long term. Like, who do you trust? Who do, who do you, you're, you're, you get to d deem the next dictator of the world. Who do you think's going to be beyond that? Right? Who's, who's, who do you, who do you pick? Right? The only sane answer is no one, no one, no one, no one, no one can have that job. No one can have that job. That's not a thing that should exist. That's entirely too much power centered on one person. And all you're talking about then is just, you're, you're just talking about watering it down a little, but not that far out with all the other systems. It's just varying degrees. At no point is the discussion like that shouldn't exist in the first place. Why are you ordering your system that way? Topologically speaking, this is an inefficient system. Capitalism and communism are both very fucking inefficient systems. Uh, as far as like, you know, logistical distribution of resource, they're both highly inefficient. Like given, given the modern electronic information age context of information distribution and how we can uh, level a topological map so efficiently and effectively with resource distribution. No. No, these, 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 these modes of operation are so antiquated at this point that it's ridiculous. Like th this is, we're hundreds of years out of date. Like our software hasn't been updated in a couple hundred years, basically. It's ridiculous at this point. We're, we're, we're running on such old school software as, as a global society, as a species. It, it's not even close to be, uh, close to where we are technologically. We're, we're so, um, there's such a disparity between the, the efficiency and levels of techno technological prowess we possess um, and our inability to apply that technological prowess and like progressive developments as a species to our own like social model. How we organize ourselves as societies is completely broken. It's completely antiquated. It's holding on to precepts and suppositions and assumptions from a time so long gone that it, it, you could it, we're we're our social our social structure at this point is comparable to us living in fucking caves given what we know about information theory at this point we're highly inefficient as a society that's our own fault so central planning is inherently flawed true most large corporations operate no different than other central planners yeah and you see how like salad you see how that goes right long term how that actually works out corporatocracy is insane like it's 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 in the embodiment of uh sociopathy given like active form given like a the hive mind form it's crazy um windows xp is valid techno feudalism yep uh, which, uh, if you ever want to read a book on uh, tech, uh, on techno feudalism, I have a book. Uh, <laughs> I always have a book. Um, it's it's Bellamare. It's Michel Luc Bellamare. Um, yeah, his latest book was on that sort of technocratic, authoritarian, feudalistic model. model. Yeah, uh, it's about yay thick. So expect that if you do crack it open. Um, <clears throat> Excel. I don't think there's a one size fits all approach for all states and societies. Syndicalism might be better in one place. That's just capitalism light. Syndicalism is a step. You don't. Syndicalism is just a fucking step. You don't stop at syndicalism. Uh, con, uh, communalism in another sense. Excel. I mean, that's but that would be that's 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 a modern information theory fucking standpoint, right? That's an anarchistic standpoint, right? If there's a, a necessity like for to per, to particular type of resources, right? If you need uh, to run a certain framework. 
for the product, uh, the package that you're, you know, using on the internet, then there's just uh, things that you take into account when you're setting that up, right? Like that's just a necessary resource distribution. That's just one of those things. Like if, you know, certain things work certain where, places in certain ways, you do that, you adapt. That's just anarchism 101, but it's also just IT. It's basic information technology at this point. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're missing a key point about anarcho syndicalism. The flag looks cool. Um, I emerged from the quiz. Not sure if it's right or, or what because I don't know what's associated with the deterrence. We got libertarian socialism. Uh, Aurora, c copy the URL and give it to us. Put it. Put it in chat. Um. Oh, I yeah. Okay, sorry. Love. Uh, sorry, satellite. Didn't fucking see your question, but yeah, yeah. Bellamare, um, fucking Michelle Luke Bellamare. Uh, you're in, you're in for a fucking treat. If you've got like, um, satellite, if you do crack that, he's, um, <clears throat> unabashed in it. Unabashed. Oh, and be prepared for a very obtuse writing style satellite. Uh, Michelle fucking, he writes purposefully like opaque, uh, opaque. It's he, he's intentionally obtuse. Um, so, you know, just be aware of that. <laughs> uh, you will be tested. Uh, yeah, Kvass is correct, basically, satellite. It's going to work. It's going to be work. Uh, you will be tested. Uh, all right. So, mm, okay. So, okay. 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 Okay, cool. Um, okay, so basically, you still believe that, yeah, you're definitely, uh, you, you look at, yeah, you've definitely, you're a market socialist. Yeah, you're like 33%. You're a market socialist. That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> socialist, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, socialist with markets. Okay, cool. Um, libertarian socialism, libertarian socialism. Yeah. It's going to be the liberal axis and your oh, revolutionary. Good on you. Your internationalist axis. Okay. So your, your social. Okay. So you're social, but you're socialist. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Back and forth between those. Um, okay. So, uh, G you, you, um, Aurora right wing Catholic. Yeah. That's pretty standard. <laughs> that's, that happens. Um, that's dude. You either stay in the cult or you run away from the cult, <laughs> right? You don't, you don't usually stay three feet to the left of the cult. When you run from the cult, you get the fuck out of the cult. Uh, yeah, that's pretty standard for a lot of people. Anson's pretty common. Um, the the hardcore ones usually get Ancom. Um, what's going on? That see that always freaks me out. That's that's always like a person who. I it always feels like that's a person who's never worked in an actual group, when they say shit like that. The the sort of was that. Um, who's giving out the tasks in response to Cat's hypothetical? There, that's that always strikes me as like you've never. Oh God. Yeah, like <laughs> it's such an insulated mentality when that creeps up that you're like, it's pretty simple. Who's like, yeah. Like there's going to be a clear division of labor. There's going to be a clear division of tasks. Like the, the fucking what needs doing is going to be fairly apparent usually. Like it's, it's not that actually complicated to organize, uh, heterarchically. 
and people like if they haven't experienced any sort of like open source work i suppose I, it just you know yeah freaks me out a little bit all right um cool you're gonna do the thing and other people are gonna do the other thing like it's yeah it always like it always worries me that like do you know like yeah i'm not really comfortable doing the thing all right cool you want to do something else yeah, and here's an ancom It depends um, what day, how you feel that day. I'm not kidding you. Like you'll, <clears throat> you'll end up with different interest, uh, different results, depending on what you're, you're feeling that day. Did you read some article that pisses you off and you're like, this is what we need, right? You get different results. Uh, satellite, uh, uh, um, no, we use consensus usually anarchists are big fans of consensus decision-making satellite. Um, you can go to cs.kaisthings.com. Um, and that'll be my cheat sheet. Not, it, I haven't worked on it in ages, but, um, the, the, the consensus decision-making section, the tab for that will w walk you through in text or give you a link off to a YouTube page, a YouTube video to watch somebody try to explain this to you but the long and short of it is that consensus decision making requires consensus first so active participants in the decision making process all have a veto vote so any single person can stop the process um and voice their concerns and then you regroup at position one basically you rework the plan to take into uh take their position into uh, into mind and you work forward and you see and you achieve consensus with that person uh, that person if you have any like it's it's basically rinse and repeat and it's actually a really efficient method of getting things done surprisingly uh, most people it's immediately like everybody has a veto vote yeah everybody has a veto vote yeah then if anybody doesn't want this process to go forward then we shouldn't go forward with it um <clears throat> so Uh, no, um, FBI, that's considered a bad faith methodology of interaction. It's not a thing that's in consensus. You need to, again, you need to go probably learn more about it. This is, you think, you think, you think you're the first person to be like, oh, wait, you could do this. Homie, just go, go learn about it and then come back. Because consensus decision making has been used effectively time and again. It's not a new process. Um, it's is consensus like a direct democracy? Um, no, it's more more direct democracy is just you getting a vote. Um, consensus is you getting a veto, right? Direct democracy, you could have all sorts of you know you could do approval voting, you could do first past the post. There's all sorts of methodologies for how you implement that direct democracy. That's just you getting a vote on literally everything usually right consensus is you getting a veto yeah global progressive democratic socialist oh, look at you um well uh, you might want to <coughs> um <clears throat> kill off that marxist in your heart <laughs> Because, yeah, go read about Bakunin and Marx. Because the anarcho portion of that always needs to be in charge. That's the Marx's solutions. Marx's critiques. Marx's analysis were accurate and on point. I will never and have never taken that from him. His critiques of capitalism and how it turns inwards on itself towards the end of his lay stage was prescient, like, to the point of being Nostradamus level. It was a proper an analysis of a system. His solutions were bullshit his solutions were the whole problem um yeah 
everything that he then said to like, and this is what we should do was just whole cloth wrong, basically. So that's, you know, so always remember that. Yeah, it wasn't, I mean, it was, it was beef. It was schoolgirl level beef. It was like mean girls level beef. Um, will there be Athenian ostracism? <laughs> I mean, probably not, but I mean, if you wanted to run back to a, like, uh, a fucking that level, um, no, um, generally authorization, I mean, it's, it can be, it can be possible, uh, Papa John, but generally speaking, it would be a social turning rather than a, uh, a resource turning because anarchists generally don't believe in that. We would still continue to provide all the things necessary for you to live and thrive. Right. But we would deny probably the social aspect. We would cold shoulder you. That's the, the most common methodology that anarchists would go is we'd be like yeah i'm not going to starve you to death i'm not going to push you out of the society but if you're going to be a, a a pain in our ass then we don't have to interact with you either and if you're a threat to society there's uh, individuals in society both have the right to self-defense that's just if you're going to be a threat to the society and individuals within it like literally then yeah we there there is isolation methodologies for that um, but again, we, the closest thing that like, you know, I can try to try and convey to Westerners is that like, think Norwegian prison. Like it's, it's, it's not, it, we're all about not having a recidivism rate. We're all about giving access to philosophy and education and mental health services and physical health service, you know, health services across the board. Like we want to make sure like what's going on here? Like why, why, <laughs> what's going on? Can we help? Like we were like, clearly you need help. So let's help. All right. But for the moment we need to move you over here, <laughs> but that's, yeah, that's pretty much. Aurora, what we fixed the problem. Ridiculous. <sighs> um, satellite. Um, oh God, this is going to be, hold on. Okay. There it is. All right. I'm just going to be mom. Uh, just so you know, somebody's continuing to pay. <laughs> somebody, somebody has bought a bot package. Just, just an attempt, just an attempt. Um, uh, satellite, um, satellite before you go read, um, there we go. Before you go read techno uh, techno capitalist feudalism, uh, um, read this. This is Michelle Luke's uh, Michelle Luke um Basically, this is his thesis. Okay, uh, so. Um, this is the Structural Anarchism Manifesto. Uh, it's the logic of structural anarchism versus the logic of capitalism. Um, to your point about the the microeconomic level, this is where I developed my sort of Thetusian methodology of um, thought. Because people don't know what to do. And so they have to be taught micro-revolutionary tactics first. And then they can extrapolate um, up to a macro-revolutionary method of thought. And so there will be multiple methods of analysis um, that he will convey, that he will like give form to for you. Um, and it's definitely worth worth reading. Like this is, how much do you make selling bot package of fashion morons? Ah, I mean, Gemma, I don't know. I don't know what the margins are on that, probably thin. But like, I mean, here's my copy. So I, like, this is this is sort of the shit you're dealing with, right? So like, you know, and then post-it notes and stuff on top of that. Um, yeah, it's it's worth reading. Yeah, um, it's worth reading. Satellite. If you're gonna get into like his new stuff, trust me, read that first. First off, it'll teach you. It'll give you a good like. Oh, this is how he writes. It's going to give you a good crash course on the absurd 
Thank you, Kvass. Thank you. The absurdity that is Dolomare's, like, linguistic style. Um, and then go read his other stuff. But, like, yeah. Like, there's, there's that sort of train of thought you're already having, Satellite. He will help crystallize for you and flush out to a huge degree because that's your instincts are correct your instincts are correct and it's not just microeconomic though it's it's this sort of you have to learn to and that's that's what he sort of clicked in my head you have to learn to you have to learn to teach people it's about pedagogy it's about the edification it's about education right and 50 percent of what anarchists do is education 49 percent is direct action take the one percent off to go vote or whatever that one day of the year it's fine um but you have to use the education and the education is that you have to teach people how to recognize micro authoritarian um, um, uh, actions, the power dynamic imbalance. If you can teach people to recognize that that coercive power dynamic, then what you do is teach them micro revolutionary methods to overcome that authoritarianism. And so it can be things just as like teaching, uh, uh, teaching people how to put their professor in place. Like I saw one today on Reddit where this guy was, uh, they posted um, um, a picture from their poli sci book and how uh, their teacher was telling them how like anarchism isn't this and it's, it's fucking, it's listed in a column with like fascism and it's just it's a whole fucking thing and he's like you know what should i do and people are like you know varying degrees of suggestion of how to undermine this methodology and but there's a variety of methods for a variety of people you i mean some people go this route some people go that route but what it is is about finding these tailored ways or teaching people how to tailor these ways for themselves and so you can create this approach to undermining these micro authoritarian measures. And once they sort of feel that moment, when they feel that sort of, oh, it clicks and yeah, it works, um, go, then they do it again. And again, they teach other people and they say, yeah, they stand up for themselves. They stand, stand up for others. They stand up for, you know, in their community. They're, they're now they're organizers. You're creating organizers. You're creating activists. And that's sort of where, you know, again, that's where the Alinsky school comes in uh, for um, for me. Satellite, have you read Saul Alinsky? If you haven't, go read Saul Alinsky. But if you haven't read Saul Alinsky and you, for whatever reason, like to hear me babble, um, you can go to the YouTube page. There's a playlist f uh, for Rules for Radicals, and I read Rules for Radicals. Um, so you can just listen to me read it if that's what you want. Or you could go get a professionally narrated audio book for it. I'm sure you're a capable person. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, that's, it's necessary. It's necessary. I, I, I've banged on that so many times on this channel. If you haven't read for rules for radicals, shut the fuck up and go read rules for radicals. It's just necessary. Uh, <laughs> it's just necessary reading. It's like not knowing how to add or some shit. It's like, sorry, that's the prerequisite material there. Um, so good on you. Um, but yeah, that's so then, yeah, take your rules for radicals brain and plug it into Bella Mare and watch what comes out of it because a bunch of shit's going to come out of it. His analysis is weird and repetitive and uh, obtusely written and it's, it's strange. You're going to have to adapt to reading it satellite, but like once you do adapt to reading it, there's ideas in there. There's fucking ideas in there. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, fucking highlight this, highlight that. It's fucking, there's a lot of stuff in that fucking short text. Uh, all right. Uh, Sonia, that person uh, isn't willing to work together, so they shouldn't be involved in the working process in the first place. That's, I don't, I don't even know who the fucking German nonsense or whatever the fuck's going on here about how like no, without force, there's no need to consent anyway. Like it, it, it if you don't want to build the town, then you don't build the town. Yeah. Like that Sonia, they shouldn't be involved. Like if you don't want to like that, that's why are you here? 
you're not looking to compromise. That's not operating in fit, good faith. The, again, this is this is the this is the shit that like leftists need to get through their like the, their ethical frameworks, right? Like there's there's we're, there's too many leftists that are like uh, that are like, well, doesn't that violate our X, Y, and Z? No, it doesn't. They're not operating in good faith. They're not actually looking to make things better for people. They're not trying to help. They're literally dragging their feet so harm will continue. That's not operating in good faith. Unless you operate in good faith, you, you're you're not allowed in the consensus decision making process. That's not a thing that you don't. I don't. Why would you? That's not even lot. Like yeah, no. They're actively doing harm. You don't negotiate with a terrorist. That's not how it works. So. Yeah, if they if somebody refuses to operate in good faith in accordance with consensus, then they should not be a part of the consensus. Hey, uh, cats feeling and sin today on a speed run. Revolutionary anarchist, though. Look at you. Ah, uh, all right. Where is, oh, that's what I wanted. There you are, you little fucker. Uh, do you think bad faith actors spawn due to power structures? Um, no, I think, well, I mean, they, they can, but no, not exclusively. No. Uh, we're going to raid over to Radical Maniac. I'm almost never streaming when Maniac comes on and I don't notice him. And like, we're going to, we're going to, we're going <laughs> to, good on you, Steel. Um, no, I, I, I yeah. nefarious that's yeah that's fair bad faith is being given a choice between 10 deaths and five deaths the correct answer is no no deaths is the answer yep bad faith actors will give a false dichotomy fallacious argue fall, uh, fallacious arguments or any such which keeps you from holding the position they don't want you to have yeah no you don't um you don't interact with bad faith people yeah the rules don't apply to them all right aka <laughs> What's the consensus on the raid message? Don't know. Just, you know, we'll just say hi to him. Either way, it's been a stream. Have a night, everyone. It's been uh, quite the thing. I might be in VC. I gotta get some food and cooking done, though. So I might be noisy, but I might be in VC. So either way, let's go say hi to Maniac. <laughs>